Hello, gang, and welcome to the Marvel. No, that no, that's not it. <laughs> welcome to Model Behavior, where we're talking about the Marvel Legends Hasbro Pulse live stream from last night, guys. We need to talk about what we did last night. <laughs> That's not the first time I've said that. But we need to discuss what Hasbro revealed. Because honestly, I put out the video. Oh, if those of you who watched it, thank you. Thank you so much for watching it. I'm going to play along with the Pulse stream right now. Because hey, you know what? That's what I do because I'm a big Hasbro shill. I play along with Hasbro. Yeah, we know. We all know I'm on the take. No, I'd, I'd like to be. That'd be nice. Um, I did speak too highly about a few things last night, though. I, I do need to correct myself. Uh, I, need to, I need to check myself because I might have wrecked myself. And I need this cup of coffee. This cup of coffee in the big time. Man, you know, with, with the highs, the lows, the creamy middles of everything that gets revealed in this stuff, I, the, this is still, like, this, the, these are some of the most exciting highlight media moments of the year for me. Yeah, this is this is like kind of up there with like major wrestling events. Things like, you know, AEW Super Shows and Wrestle Kingdom. When we have a big Hasbro Pulse live stream, that's a mark out moment there. So I really, really dig these. So we got a whole bunch of stuff and it's very easy for me to get super excited super quickly. And look, in my defense, when I was doing the recap last night, it was nearly three in the morning and I hadn't actually watched the live stream itself in real time. I got back home while it was in progress because also I mixed up. I messed up the time difference. So I thought I was getting home in time for it to start. I thought I was, I thought I was getting home an hour, a half hour early. Turns out I was getting home a half hour late. <laughs> so so I get home and uh, my buddy Mark, who's uh, one of the moderators on the Facebook group, he sent me all these pictures and I'm like, how do you have these? Wait, is this, is this, what, is, is this happening now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I needed to recalibrate a little bit. And then when I was filming the recap, I was literally scrolling through it on my phone, talking to the camera, going back and forth. It was a lot. It was a lot. And in doing so, I, I kind of praised some things that shouldn't have been praised as much. And, you know, not, not terribly so. But it was really interesting to wake up and see the comments on the video the, the morning after. <laughs> It's always interesting to wake up the morning after and see what people have said, people who have had the time to watch a little bit more closely and they can pick things apart a little bit better. I appreciate that. So let's just take it to the chat first of all. What's going on? There's a whole bunch of green names, a whole bunch of channel members. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm going to kick things off with probably one of the biggest channel supporters. Not, not the biggest because there is no tier system, but if there was, Joey B with BS rank. Pretty happy with most of the reveals. Dude, just, I, yeah, me too. I mean, generally, this is a positive. This is a positive live stream. There's a heck of a lot more good than bad. But there is some stuff where you're like, really? Come on. So as they go through it in the video, we'll we'll break things down as, as they go. That's that's the most fun way of, of, of doing it, I think. Blake, what are you saying, man? Dave, don't ever wriggly wreck yourself, fool. Dude, occasionally I, I get wriggly, wriggly wrecked. But honestly, last night I wasn't. I didn't touch a drop of alcohol. I'm doing a, a bit of a, uh, not, not a teetotal thing, but I'm just, I'm, I'm exercising discipline because I have been, ever since I got back to Japan, I've been binge drinking way too much. And it's never been a problem in as much as I've always gone to work and got up on time and done my thing and been fine, but it's not good for you. It's not good for you. And it's, it, it's a bad habit to be in. And the problem with Japan and life here is that there is always an excuse to go out and drink. There's there's a birthday. There's a uh, or, or there's a, a cast debut party. There's a leaving party. There, there's a day ending in Y party. There's always something happening. So you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll just do this one. So yesterday was the first night where I was like, no, you know what? Sober as a judge. I'm just going to go and have fun with my buddies. And you know what? I had fun with my buddies. They're, they're a good bunch of people. They're a good bunch of good brothers. Hey, Tom, good to see you, man. Stupid sandwich. What's happening, brother? Remember when I said I didn't have any confidence about Hasbro making any figures from the Capcom games? Well, today I eat my words. You know what? Stupid sandwich. That is one of like the, the, the pillars of moral behavior. I, I don't know what the other ones are. But one of the biggest pillars of model behavior is being able to say when you're wrong. 
because that's so hard for so many people. Folk, folks hate to just say, hey, I, I said something. I assumed something. I was proven wrong. Hands up. Happy to be wrong. There you go, man. That, that That's nothing wrong with that. But now that they've got done cable, now we got to get Blackheart. Now we got to get Shuma Garoth. Come on, guys. Let's start doing this right. Let, let's start pushing these Marvel versus Capcom characters. Jade is doing Mega Man. We're pushing these things out. I want to see more of them. DJ, I'm sold on the wave. Definitely want Black Winter. Black Winter was a huge surprise for me. I really was not expecting that to be anything. I was just like, oh, pff, okay, well, it's it, it, it's just going to be a repainted Thor. I mean, that that Herald of Galactus Thor is nice, but I mean, do, do I want him in black? Not particularly. He's already mostly in black. But then when I, when we see the reveal pictures, I'm like, dude. That looks nice. The, I love the flowing hair, the flowing dynamic hair. I, I think some people might not like that because some folks like to have a very static kind of pose for their figures. But me, I, I love what's going on there, man. I, I really dig it. It looks like he's underwater and his hair is like just floating. And it's it, it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. Speaking of cool, Tom, the Colossus and Juggernaut 2-pack have been reissued. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. But uh, yeah, apparently it's up on Hasbro Pulse. I I still have the Colossus. I sold the Juggernaut, but that Colossus is still the go-to Colossus for me. Steve, thank you, brother. Ten beautiful, beautiful British pads. May use the Icarus head on the Kazar body for a Legends He-Man custom. Dude, Savage He-Man? I, I can see that working. Funny to see the cable figure using the Nerf guns as weapons. Makes me think he'll be firing foam darts at everyone. Yeah, dude, I mean, like, again, talking about giving too much credit, or not too much credit, but not pointing out flaws, that cable needed a big, hefty, chonky, honking gun. And he doesn't have that. And that's a real shame. So they they, they missed a trick on that one. What, what wasn't a missed trick, though, was feeding Godzilla, dude. Thank you so much. He's just waking up. We get the best music. Oh, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, dude, thank you so, so much for that. I'm going to minimize the comment because we got to look at some action figures. But man, thank you so much for that super chat, brother. That really means the world. And now we got our first proper reveals of the live stream. We got the Doctor Strange and the Morbius. And look, they're going to do two packs for these things. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't approve of it. But you know what? They never asked me once, not once, not once did Dan or Ryan phone me up and go, hey, Dave, look, we're thinking about doing two packs. Are you cool with that? Because if you're not, I mean, we won't do it. If, if you had asked, I would have told you, you know, but there you go. But they just don't they don't consult me. This Morbius, I got to say, though, perfect realization of the cartoon. And I, I'm, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to see. I don't think they're animated. I don't think they're cell shaded. Are they? They're, they're the bright popping colors, but they're not cell shaded, uh, unless I'm wrong. Stop me if I'm wrong, but I couldn't see. They didn't really show them all that closely. The, the glamour shots aren't really that clear. But I don't think that they have the really ugly cell shading that some of the other animated ones have. And that's a bonus. Now, dude, the Prowler. This one, I... I, I, I wasn't sure how I felt about the lavender colors. Very light. But the more I look at it, the more I do think, yeah, I actually do like the, the lighter, more, more retro kind of feel to it. What, what was great about the original Prowler was that his costume actually looked kind of baggy. Because that was always a funny thing about the Prowler, is that his costume is, is kind of pajamery. It, 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 it's not a real skin tight superhero costume. And I don't know if they've really captured that with this new one, but what they do seem to have by the looks of things are better gauntlets, better gauntlets around the, the, the ankles and the wrists. So that's nice to see because the other one, they just kept slipping around all over the place. And the fact that it's got two different heads, that's a big one. That's a big one. So just looking at this guy here, again, anything in retro carded packaging, it's going to be lovely. Let me just zhuzh, zhuzh this up a bit. Boom. 
yeah the, the the purple kind of clashes a little bit with the lavender but that that notwithstanding i i still i like what i'm looking at i don't i don't need him i'm, I'm not going to get this and honestly i i gotta say cards on the table here as much as i like a lot of things that are being showing <laughs> but being showing that's that's terrible grammar but i really i i, I hate the ab crunches now i i think if 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 it's not a torso ball joint swivel, then it looks outdated, and this looks outdated, and it's just it's it's a shame. I don't know the logistics and the money and the cost of you know doing different bodies and bucks and builds and stuff, but I just feel like an ab crunch and a disc 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 swivel waist. It's just it feels so antiquated. It feels so old. I just I I can't really get over it now. Nowadays. This might be like a big sticking point, actually, going forward, genuinely, especially with the you know, better figures coming from the same company. When you look at G.I. Joe, you see the the ball torso swivels, you see the waist swivels. And that's like that's that that's what we should be getting for action figures in 2024. So when you see these these ugly cuts and stuff that I, it just feels like. Why should I spend my money on this when in a few years we'll probably get a much, much better one with, you know, better, more modern tooling? So ah, it's tough, man. It's tough. And here we go. This is one that I was wanting to get to because Carnage was one of my biggest mark out moments. I was like, oh, and actually I am definitely going to have to get this guy. You know why? I was trying to think. I was trying to find why. Why does this guy look so familiar? Why does this version of Carnage look so familiar? And then I realized this is the Carnage design. The, the face and, and the weapons, it might not be intentionally taken from it, but this is how Carnage looked in the Ben Riley. You know it was going to be a Ben Riley thing. In the Ben Riley X-Men crossover. For those of you who haven't read it, there's this awesome awesome four part mini series came out about 15 years ago uh, which uh, each issue is set in a different time period with Spider-Man teaming up with the X-Men and the one set in the 90s has Ben Riley sensational Spider-Man teaming up with the 90s X-Men with Bone Claws Wolverine and they're fighting Carnage and Mr Sinister and the artwork is just it's beautiful. I need to double check who the artist was because it was just stunning. But that guy drew Carnage with, with the teeth, with the more visceral blood looking black on him. Like that, that's what it is. I couldn't place it at first, but I, I recognize it now. It probably wasn't intentional. I think it's, it's probably based on a different art style. But this is the one that I really, really noticed. What's going on there, Jules? Shout out to Dave for getting another, another leaked character confirmed with Wolf ba Wolf's Bane. It's a difficult one for me to pronounce that. 10 out of 10. Dude, I'm, occasionally, even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Now, what I didn't say last night, because again, I was, I was tired. It was 3 a.m. I needed to get this video up because I needed to beat Shadowless Prime and Robo and everyone else. It's a competitive rat race out there in the YouTubing world. I'm like, got to get this done. Got to get it up before the other YouTubers. Got to get those numbers. Got to get those clicks. Got to get my sponsorship. Jeez. It's quite a life I've carved out for myself here. <laughs> But this carnage, I didn't realize how much reuse it is from the Venom Pool carnage. Because at a glance, it was just like, oh, it's a cool looking carnage body. But then I, I, I see, and people were kind enough to point out that, yeah, the, the entire body, it looks, the entire body is all just reuse. It's all reuse from the, the Venom Pool carnage. And look, that carnage is great. It It is. But it's still got all the trappings of the old Marvel Legends, of old action figures. It's still got the disc waist. It's still got the ab crunch. It's like, come on, guys. Again, it's it, it's 2024. And I, I you can't come back and say, well, yeah, but we've we've just launched the Vulcan body. So yeah, that's got to be the go-to one now. No, it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't have to be. You you can you can change it anytime you want, because genuinely, I love the look of this. I really really do. The weapons, man. The the weapons are the bomb. I want I want to go back to where they were pivoting it around there, because yeah, like this, it, it really is. I I think I, I still think I might possibly want to get him just just because the 
the big blade and the axe hand are so so cool like that's that's what carnage should be but it's just that the body is God, it's it's so dated now i'm i'm looking at it and i'm just seeing seeing the the, the lines and like i don't know man like it could have been so much better that's what kind of kills me so i'm like oh I'm probably still going to be weak <laughs> and order him because I think I, I, there's enough about him that I still really, really love. But it is frustrating that there's so many ways that they could have made it better. So there you go. That's, that, that's my thoughts on Carnage. He's, oh man, but the way that they rotate him and pivot him there, he still, he still looks the bomb. Man, he still looks the bomb. I can't be mad at you. That's the problem. But then if I was posing him, I'd want him in a more dynamic pose. So I would twist him at the waist. But then as soon as I do that, boom, you got that big, ugly break in the in the middle. So that would put me off. What doesn't put me off, though, is a donation of five dollars from Juan. Juan Benitez. Thank you so much, brother. Can't wait to get cable and display him with my Jada Toys, Mega Man and Ryu. Dude, that is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. I. I I really, that, that cable, I probably, I don't need to get him because I do have the Revoltec cable and the Revoltec cable is awesome. I love the more manga anime kind of style that he comes in. But having said that, just this is Marvel, Le that cable is Marvel Legends doing like peak looking Marvel Legends to me, to my eye, to my doofus untrained eye. I feel like that cable is just, it's, it's legit. And again, look, like, like I, I always say, if I was in England, I'd, I'd order that entire wave because like the reviews would be awesome. I'd love doing all of that. But being in Japan where it's so much harder to get them, they're so much more expensive. It's not as easy. So I'm going to have to see what the details are with that. But dude, thank you so much for feeding Godzilla. Come on, guy. How'd you go? Come get the money. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. And Mike D, side note, you should have stayed at the strip club. <laughs> that should be like my, my bottom line review of the Hasbro Pulse stream. So Dave, what did you think of the Hasbro Pulse stream? <sighs> I should have stayed at the strip club. <laughs> Although to be fair, staying at the strip club would have cost me less money than the Hasbro Pulse stream is probably going to cost me. So it's a fair trade-off. But dude, also Hayden, thank you, brother. One ninety nine. I might sell my old Prowler to get the new one. Dude, I I would do. But to be fair, I I don't know how much you'd get for him. I I don't think that old Prowler is going to go for very much on the back mark the back market, the second hand market. But hey, even if you can just get a couple of bucks for him. And yeah, absolutely, because it definitely looks like a worthy upgrade. And dude, thank you. Godzilla's eating well this morning. Get my little fella. Um, num, 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 num. Right, we looked past. We missed the Spider-Man and Wolverine Fantastic Four 2-pack. Help me out with this, because I, I did ask about this when I was doing the video. Are there other Fantastic Four members that they team up with? Is it a Joe Fixit Ghost Rider? I don't think it. I don't think it is. But stop me if I'm wrong. So should we get more Fantastic Four members to go with them, or is it actually Franklin and Valeria that they team up with? Because that's who they pose them with. But I don't know if that's what they actually should go with in the comics. Because yeah, that's just a little a little part of of comic book history that I didn't I didn't see myself. I wasn't familiar with. So you might have to help me out with that one. And also. Speaking of helping me out, Ray Ortiz, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> For the hardworking ladies at the Osaka Strip Club. Love that classic tune. Dude, thank you so much. Godzilla, he's a hungry boy. He's a hungry boy. He needs to be fed. Just like we're hungry for Marvel Legends. We you got to keep us fed up. What's going on with the rest of the chat here? Joe, Joe Biden, thanks for dropping in. I think you probably should be busy with other things. Dave, do you think a giant Godzilla would do well like the Sentinel and Galactus Hasbro did? You know what? You can actually get them. Like they they are available. You can find Godzillas like that are huge in, in Japan if you want to look around for them. If it came from the Marvel Legends team, I'd be interested to see it, but I don't think it would be a big seller. 
and Joey, 21 months. Dude, I think you're going to be the first guy to hit the two-year membership. And if, if you do, Mike, man, God bless you. Thank you so much. I think the worst reveal of the day was that stupid Fantastic Four Wolverine and Spidey set. Waste of a release. Well, it's not if they make money from it. And they seem to think that they're going to make money from it. So yeah, time will tell. I mean, I'll agree with you, Joey. They, they ain't going to make money from me, but they might make money from someone else. Res, Rex One Kettles. I always mispronounce your name when it pops up there. It, the, the X's and the ones throw me. I wish I could donate. Dude, don't, don't worry about it. Forget it. But when, but I went on eBay and bought nine figures this past week. Of course, I was sure to pay some bills first. Dude, again, that's model behavior, man. Priorities. Yeah, of, of course. I'm always, you, you know me. I'm terrible. I'm always going to be out here going, money, please. But that, dude, this is a free show. Pay your bills, man. And don't just buy food. Buy healthy food. Spend extra money on healthy food. Look after yourself. Look after your health. Then after that, buy action figures. Then maybe you know, donate some of the charity. And then give all the rest to me, however much it is. Just, 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 just pay it straight across. It's fine. <laughs> Fuzzy Barbarian. They were trying to make Sharon Carter look mature with her eye makeup. And they went too far. And she looks like a 12-year-old just discovered eyeshadow. Or a 15-year-old not going through a phase. Dad. <laughs> I like that. That tickles me, man. That tickles me. Uh, we just saw the Fantastic Four Spider-Man costume in the latest video game. Oh, I forgot about that one. I don't remember play. I, I never, I never played as as that costume. Uh, I'm sure Hasbro is going to be riding high on that design. Likely. You know what? Speaking of riding high on on designs, is this Arnim Zola a re-release? Is this the same Ar Arnim Zola that came out years ago, like years and years and years ago? Because I'm I'm pretty sure it is, but I never had that figure. So I couldn't tell you with like real precision authority, but maybe someone else can, can do because it, it looks very familiar. I kind of wish the Spidey and Wolverine two-pack was different. Not sure how they could do Wolverine, but I'd love to have seen future Foundation Spidey. Dude, that's that's the biggest mess. Is Future Foundation Spidey? We where where's the rest of the Future Foundation? Okay, so, <laughs> bad ideas. You're saying nope, Mister Ozone. You're saying yes, bad ideas. You're saying it's different, uh, Harrison. You're saying it's not a re-release, but it's on the same body. Okay, it looks like we got some from Column A, some from Column B. It's all uh, it's all a little bit all over the place there. Uh, Matt with two T's, seven month member. Thank you so much, Dave. Hasbro has me by the balls joy. Dude, it's it's unusual that someone can grab you tightly by the balls, and it's a joy. But in this case, Hasbro have got a firm grip on your cajones. Oh, yeah, Joey, what you were saying about Sharon Carter, I get that. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. But also, I, also, I hate her shoes. I'm sure it's accurate to a comic design, but those black plimsolls, they look awful, man. I hate that. <laughs> And look, that's not a knock on Hasbro because I can only assume that that's based off of a very specific comic book design. But ah, oh, that, that looks terrible. I I would not if I don't care if I'm fighting Hydra, saving the world, whatever. I'm not going out dressed like that. That's just that's that that's just a terrible, terrible look. Dum Dum Dugan though looks terrific. I he I love that face again. It's the faces, man. The faces from Marvel Legends are just next level. I will, I'll knock the bodies. I will moan and whine and schwitz and complain about all these different things. But the human faces, when they get them right, are just banging. And th that Dum Dum Dugan looks terrific. And also, what I really love about the Nick Fury Jr. is that he actually doesn't look like Samuel L. Jackson. He, like I, I'm, I'm all for you know the the sort of recasting of Nick Fury. That that's cool. That's fine. But at the same time, like I'm kind of done with Sam Jackson just constantly like like this is what he looks like. He looks exactly like Samuel Jackson. But no, he there are different faces, you know. And I like that he looks like a different human being. I I think that's actually kind of cool. I I dig that. So honestly, I I really like what they're doing here. I thought they were gonna do a classic Nick Fury head to go in this pack. But honestly, I can kind of appreciate them not doing that because even if you had the two different heads, well, you still need a body. And so that would be kind of annoying if you had the two different heads, but you haven't got a, a fourth body to, to put it on. 
So I guess that maybe they'll do a classic Nick Fury as a single release, which honestly wouldn't be that bad because if they threw in the Nick Fury head, yeah, you'd, you'd still have to buy a body for it. So yeah, I, I don't I don't mind that too much. That's that's okay. I ain't mad at you. Vaca, three pack isn't too bad. Kind of wish one of them was a fodder agent or Sharon in a shield like outfit. Well, hey, look, they need they need to re-release those uh, Shield Army builders because those things sold like hotcakes. Northern Nomad, Samuel Jackson's doppelganger. Well, it, it's true. That's that's where the design came from in the Ultimate Universe. And then they were like, we should run with this. I, I don't know for certain, but I think it is like a little urban legend. It might be true that you know, when Marvel when Marvel asked Samuel L. Jackson, like, can we make our character look like you? He, his, his only caveat was, you can do, but if you make a movie... I've got to play Nick Fury. That might just be a, a myth, but I dig it. Maybe we should ask the man himself, Jules Winfield, my man in Inglewood. Five dollars. Thank you so much, brother. I was convinced I was only getting Wolf Spain and Kazar. I even said, I don't care what the bath is. I'm not getting this wave. Then they showed Zabu. You, you know what? I'm I'm gonna be a dick. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna go on to Amazon.com and see if I can see see how quickly I can find a saber-tooth tiger toy. Saber-tooth tiger toy. Uh, ooh, yep, yeah, boom, there you go. 14.99, six, 6 6.5 inches, saber-tooth tiger. Jo job done. <laughs> So you don't need the builder figure, and actually, this look this looks kind of nice. Um, I'll I'll save it. I'll, I'll show it. I'll, sh I'll show it after the live stream. But there you go. That took me thirty seconds to go onto Amazon and find a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> that's in scale. So you know that that's why I'm saying I I think Zabu looks cool. Like I genuinely do. I'm I'm not knocking that in in the slightest. But I also feel like that's not a figure that's really going to make people buy figures that they don't want you know it's like i you know if, if, it, if it was a case of oh you know I, i've got to buy you know, if it was one figure well you might as well because if you're going to spend 15 bucks on a saber tooth tiger toy from amazon you might as well spend 25 and get like the proper complete builder figure but if it's a case of of buying like if you, if you only want kazar and your savage land then yeah just 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 buy a a, a saber tooth tiger figure off of amazon <laughs> Wow. I bet I bet the Marvel Legends guys are like, thanks, Dave. Thanks. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> and also, I mean, what is up with the figure selection for this wave? It's all over the place. What have happened to themed waves? I mean, at least, at least because also look, if you take this wave and you take the um, void wave, and you sort of mix and match them, then you have a complete modern Avengers wave. Or, you know, you could have a, a complete retro wave. But it, it's just, it, it's just a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Well, guess what? When you do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you get a little bit of appreciation. Because, it, you know, it, it, it's, not, it's not committing to one thing or the other. I committed a long time ago on model behavior to being this guy. And I'm running with it for better or for worse. It's mostly for worse, but we're here now. And that's what I feel the Hasbro are not doing with their character selections. They're not they're not committing to one vision. You could have done an, an awesome sort of X-Men themed wave with Kazar, Shana, Zabu. It's, Zabu could have still been the builder figure if you wanted it to be. But yeah, I feel like this is just, it's all over the shop. Because what are the odds? What are the odds of you wanting a, a winter, a crimson guard, whatever her name is, you know, that and Superior Iron Man and 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 Harold Thor. Like it's it's all just so mismatch. I, I, I it just feels like they put their hand in a tombola and just picked out random characters. And it's like, if you're doing that, then what are you what are you doing? Like what what's what what's what's the 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 thought process behind this? And don't get me wrong, the figures look good. It's just it's just odd. It's just real, real odd. And also, I, I missed, I missed, um, I missed a super chat. Where, where did it go? I don't, I don't want to ignore anyone. Steve, there you go. Dude, almost missed you. Five pounds. Thank you so much. Five beautiful, 
beautiful British pants. I could see classic Nick Fury coming with a chameleon as a Spider-Man VHS set. Dude, I didn't think about that because I was surprised um, that we didn't get a chameleon. But you know what? That that could work. I still think that if we get a chameleon, it's going to be with polo shirt, Peter Parker. I think that one's possibly more likely, but it wouldn't surprise me to get an animated style Nick Fury. I could totally see that see that working with, with, with the styles, with what they're doing. That would absolutely fit the uh, the Nick Fury aesthetic or the, the animated sort of aesthetic. But dude, thank you again, man. Still a hungry boy. No music though. <laughs> dude, look at that, Wolf Spain. Finally, finally, we got we got our wolfy girl. I'm I'm not like uh, blown away by the by the design, but it, it, it's fine. Like it's it, it's it's good. It's good enough. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and and like moan and complain because honestly, first of all, we finally got finally got Wolf Spain, and you know that they can use these parts to do feral as well. And so at long last, at long last, you guys are going to be able to complete your X-Force and X-Factor lineups. You've got the final characters. They're coming together and, oh, they're going to do the dance on the shelf. It's going to look beautiful. It won't It won't look beautiful on my shelf because I don't, I don't have X-Factor and X-Force anymore because I gave up. I, I gave up about two years ago. Yeah. See, that's that's the that's the little problem, the little caveat there. And that's where Hasbro kind of shot themselves in the foot, because I, I do wonder how many people would have bought this Wolf Spain two years ago that aren't going to buy it now. Because I no, I, I give up. I'm like, I, I'm very obsessive compulsive. <laughs> Can you tell? So it, it actually it, it irritated me. It annoyed me having an incomplete X Factor team on my shelf and an incomplete X Force team on my shelf. I was like, uh, they're just they're just taking up space and they're not complete. It's just yeah, I'm just not not feeling it. So I sold them. So I'm um, now that they've completed X Factor, I'm not I'm not going to go buy go back and buy them all over again. It's like no, that that ship has sailed. That's that's done now. If you had released her two or three years ago, I would have completed the team and then been like, hey, that's that's a complete X Factor team. That that looks awesome. I'm happy with that. Good stuff. Whereas now I'm like, eh, pff, Wolf Spain, yeah, well, whatever. I'm not, I'm I'm not interested. Well, so yeah, it's a shame. Again, guys, you you shot yourself in the foot. It, same with the Thunderbolts. You know what? You can bring out the rest of the you can bring out the entire rest of the Thunderbolts now in, in one wave. Guess what? Too late. Too, too little too late because I, I sold Citizen V, I sold Songbird, I sold Mac One because they're just three, without the rest of the team, they're just three chunks of plastic taking up space and collecting dust because they, 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 it's not satisfying. It's not satisfying to look at just three random team members who aren't doing anything, you know? So again, if they'd released the rest of the Thunderbolts two, three, four years ago, I would have picked them up. I would have bought all of them. You, you've got to capitalize on momentum while you're doing it. And instead, they made so many random nonsense figures and characters where not everyone, I appreciate that there's something for everyone out there. But I think a lot of people would see a lot of things they put out and gone, why? Why this guy? What? Why? So yeah, there you go. Again, you, you played yourself. What's the first rule? of action figure production, don't play yourself. Congratulations, you played yourselves. There you go, that's that's how I'm feeling with that one. Man, sorry, I got on a bit of a rant there, but it's just, it's frustrating, because I see how you could, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not I'm not an action figure industry guy. I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing, but I know common sense. I know how to at least give people what they want and not frustrate people that are trying to dedicate themselves to your product, man. All right, sorry, what were we talking about? Let's look at the new action figures. <laughs> it's lucky I didn't go on this rant last night. Otherwise, I'd still be in bed trying to, you know, catch up on sleep. Vaca, what are your thoughts on the Daredevil and Hydro Man 2 pack? Haven't been in a stream for a while. High school mean girls takes a lot out of me and streams are when I'm mid-practice. Okay, um, 
I think it looks fine. Uh, I, I I don't like the cell shading stuff. I never do. So that Daredevil, Daredevil doesn't do anything for me. Um, and the Hydro Man looks fun, but I just wish they'd given him the water effect powers that he has in the previous release. Again, that's... It, it, it's half bro doing half bro. And it's like, come on. We're, pay we're paying lots of money. Money's tight. Like, England just went back into a recession, in case you didn't hear. Apparently, America's killing it. <laughs> so, um, hey, bully for you, America. <laughs> England's in a recession now. We we, we, we can't afford to, to pay full prices for half-bro products. you you, you got to go all in to deserve our money. With re-releasing Colossus and Juggernaut, recent blob figure, the new Emma Frost and Deluxe Angel, X-Men 97 Wave, Cable in May and Deadpool in August, this is the best time to begin an X-Men collection. Rajan, dude, you're not wrong, actually. With all of that being said, because, man, I've got to admit, I think I started collecting at the worst possible time. I, I started collecting, like, hardcore collecting around about 2019, 2020, when when the Marvel Legends bubble was at its biggest, <laughs> when all these really awesome X Men characters had just been released and they'd all sold out everywhere, so everything was super expensive to go back and get. And that, had I've known, I could have just waited a few years, and they're going to be putting out new versions of everything. Man, if only, if only I'd known. Jules Winfield, 18 months a member. God bless you, my friend. Hasbro completing teams six years later has the earlier figures looking really outdated. And that is peak Hasbro Hasbroing. Dude, I hear you, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. Are you thinking about the Life Foundation? Because I'm thinking about the Life Foundation. Can we, can we talk about the Life Foundation? Can we talk about Pepe Silva, okay, for a moment? Yeah, they... They, they take so long that you're right. Half the team looks outdated. You know, I'm just I'm just sitting here like you know that's that's just my opinion. Because also like they're starting other teams as well. Because you've you've got Icarus as well. So you're gonna want some more Eternals. Because I got to say I'm gonna go back and and look at these uh, the, these figures again. So we're, we're getting we're getting to the end of the live stream. So we can go go back to the start of of the new wave. I think the Icarus looks terrific. I think the details on the costume, the, the the colors, the designs, the styling, I think it really pops. It's a very, very pretty looking character. So I'm just gonna, uh, my my plug, my laptop is just out of reach. Let me just, come on, come on, there we go. There we are. Sorry, it's in my, in my travel case because I take my laptop to work so that I can edit while I'm at work. I genuinely don't stop. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm like Puff Daddy. We don't stop because we won't stop. Because the thing is, until you know, I I want this to be a career, and until it is a career, I'm gonna keep working at it until we get there. So that means I I don't I don't play. Every time I turn up at work, I just put my headphones in, open my laptop, and I'm like, well, Dave's doing his thing. But hey, you know, I enjoy doing it. But of course, the biggest reason for that, hang on, let me get this, there we go. All right, all right, we're back on track. The biggest reason for that is because, you know, next month, uh, Juanita moves back to Brooklyn. And hopefully that's going to be a permanent move because she's going to go and, you know, be a, you know, a success on Broadway, hopefully. So no, not hopefully, she's going to go and be a success on Broadway, which means that eventually I'm going to have to move out to Brooklyn. And I don't know how much work there is for a mid 40 year old unemployed actor. <laughs> it might be a little bit rough out there. So this is why I'm throwing all my chips into this. And speaking of that, stupid sandwich, 10, sorry, 9.99. Thank you so much, man. That Daredevil is by far my favorite up upcoming release. Really? Really? Dude, I mean, I, I I love you. I love you for th throwing money at me, but I got to disagree. With, well, not, not disagree with you. I can't, I can't tell you what you are most excited about, but really? I don't, I don't see it. I've wanted a comic shaded Daredevil ever since I purchased my first Frank Miller Daredevil trade paperback collection. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, <laughs> if, if, if you've literally, if you've literally been waiting for a cell shaded or sorry, a comic shaded Daredevil, then yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. So fair play, fair play. I can appreciate that. Uh, yeah, because for me, I was like, I don't know. I just felt like the aesthetic doesn't go with anything else on, on my shelf. But hey, you know what? 
you're not buying action figures for my shelf. You're buying action figures for your shelf. So you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy that there's someone out there who's like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I'm after. Dare I say, this is how we do it. But again, th thank you for feeding the monster, my friend, because the monster is always hungry. <laughs> oh, had a little burp at the end there. Right, where are we at? What's going on? Oh, yes, I was looking at the Thor. The uh, what, what do they call him? Thank you again, dude. Thank you so much for that. What did they call this? The this Thor? Because I, I really, really love him. Actually, I'm I'm not going to get in. I don't need him for my display or my collection or anything. But I I just love what they've done with this guy. Genuine Black Winter. Thank you, Tom. That's that. That's what I was trying to think of. Black Winter. So yeah, it, it just I think the blue on the face, like this deep kind of midnight blue. It, it, it looks beautiful. Like it looks sexy. It's a sexy looking midnight blue Thor there. And again, like I said before, the swirly, whirly hair, that, that, that looks great. I mean, look at this guy in motion. He really does look the business. He's not going to pop off the shelf, obviously, because he's so dark. He's, he's, he's so black. He's, he is going to kind of fade into the background, which is a bit of a shame. And speaking of which, I feel that might happen with Icarus a bit as well. I love Icarus's costume. I think it looks great. And also, I'll, I'll say the, the, the color palette for the Icarus costume looks accurate. It looks legit. It looks like the comic book artwork that I'm picturing. That's how it should be. But again, I, I would personally like a brighter more popping baby blue kind of look. But that's not actually what the artwork that this is based on looks like, I, I don't think. So that they've done it accurately. But just me, for my own aesthetics, I would have I would have dug a, a, a brighter, more bold kind of look to it. I, I'd be happy with that. Matt, you're saying Bizarro Thor, negative four, Oden Ton Raven Quest. Kind of like that, actually. Now, look, with Superior Iron Man that they're showcasing now, I feel a bit too white. Yeah, a bit a bit too a bit too bright white looks very plasticky. The face sculpt looks great. Sinister Tony Stark face sculpt. I really really dig that. But I feel like in in the comics cuz I did read that mini series. Yeah, I, I do occasionally read comics. I know so many things come up and I'm so guilty of it. I, they'll show new figures and I'm like, "Hey, don't know who this guy is." But I genuinely did read that when it came out, what was it, seven or eight years ago? It was, it was a while ago now. But I, I feel like his costume was more silver. I feel that it was more, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Rooster. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, Rooster. It was more chrome. It was more silver and chrome. I, I, I feel like white is way off. I feel like the white is, is it's, it's not a good look at all. I, did they look at the source material? I want. Let, let me just. I'm going to completely randomly. I'm going to completely randomly just Google Superior Iron Man and see what the first image is that comes up. Folks, you can play along at home if you want. Superior Iron Man. What, is, what does it look like? Um, oof. Okay. You know what? In defense of, of Marvel Legends, in defense of Hasbro, the first image that comes up does look quite white. So it, it, it does look like that figure. I still feel that there's more sheen to it, though. I'm saying, you know what? Looking looking at more pictures, though, especially the Derek Robertson. Is it is it Roberts or Robertson? The 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 artist of the boys. He did the artwork for this series. One of the reasons why it's so good. But yeah, the the suit should be more chrome. It it should like in in a lot of artwork. It it looks kind of white just because that's just the way it's sort of colored in those pictures, but really I I think it's meant to have more of a sheen. It's meant to look like kind of highly polished silver, whitey kind of metal. What I'm saying is I don't think that look kind of does it, which is a shame because yeah, look a stupid sandwich. You, you're saying Superior Iron Man uh, should have had an, an iridescent silver that were used on the Ben Riley Beyond eyes. Oh, dude, that would be, oh, that'd be sexy, man. I think that'd be a little bit too sexy. Because if we have a little look at this here, you know, um, oh, yeah, there we go. I'm not a fan of uh, of this figure per se, uh, but the iridescent silver on the, yeah, look, that, that would have worked. That slightly shimmering, 
that shining, shimmering, splendid kind of uh, iridescent look. So I, I keep saying iridescent because since you mentioned it, I really like I really like that word. I feel very ir iridescent about it. <laughs> it's like, Dave, you're not using that right. How iridescent of you to say that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, if if the if the suit was more the color of these lenses, oof, <laughs> that that would that would work. That would really really work for Superior Iron Man. And the fact that it's not means it's a fail. No, it's not a fail, but it it could have been better. <laughs> I'm Joey. I call this the Inferior Iron Man. <laughs> I appreciate the Legends Big Three acknowledging the need to complete teams. You know what, Kwamin? I don't. <laughs> I I don't because it, it should have been such an obvious given years ago. It's like, you know, if, if someone is doing something bad and they're doing a bad thing over and over and over again, I'm not going to congratulate them when they say, you know what? I'm going to stop doing that bad thing. I'd be like, bitch, you should have stopped that years ago. <laughs> don't, don't, don't expect like a slap on the back and a hearty handshake for doing like the most obvious thing that you're supposed to do. You know, it's like, come on. <laughs> it's like, it's like me saying like, Hey, you know, every time I would babysit your kids, I'd be drunk off my, off, off my face. But you know what? This time I'm going to do it sober. <laughs> They'd be like, Wait, you were drunk the whole time? What the hell? I'm like, no, you're welcome. You're welcome. Like, no, that's not, that's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Dave, what's going on, brother? I'm so hyped about that Prowler. I wanted that one so bad as a kid in the 90s, but sadly couldn't get my little Cooper hands on one. What do you think about him? Uh, yeah, I I honestly, first of all, that's adorable. <laughs> little Cooper hands. Um I think it looks great. Uh, I I really do like like the the, the look of it. I, I do. Uh, also, I just want to make make something really clear because yeah, I, I was kind of like saying it as like a skit as a bit. Dave used the B word. What? I was just using that as like a like a comedic emphasis point. I wasn't I wasn't calling like the Hasbro guys the B word or anything. That was just like an expression of like frustration like oh my goodness no i i i love those guys like they're really they seem like just really cool nice people that's again whenever we're talking about like action figures and like company politics and stuff like that's never an attack like it's never an attack on the people i suddenly like worried about that like oh no that did that sound mean i didn't i didn't mean that i take that back if that's how that came across because i was just like doing a comedy bit there so in no way was i uh like calling, calling the those guys that <laughs> they, they they seem they, they're awesome Come on, Dave. They don't always complete teams, but closer to completing than any other toy company. My usual shill devil's advocate. <laughs> yeah, Quammen is, is definitely always the de devil's advocate in that regard. But again, I'm like, you know, people have spent so much money to, to try and like build up teams and complete teams that when they don't come through, it's like, ah, you know, it's it, again, it, it's frustrating. Again, like, you know, I, I, I spent I spent all, all this money on X Factor and eventually gave up. I spent all that money on Thunderbolts and and gave up, you know, so it's it, it, it's tough. Like, yes, no other company has come that close to completing them. But at the same time, this company could have completed them so much sooner. Instead, they've you know done so many other figures that it's like, we don't really want these so much. But I mean, OK, I, I, I guess. Ricochet Rick, Dave, Beasts of the Mesozoic are making a super articulated saber-tooth cat for less than the bath wave. Check it out. Dude, I think I have seen that. And the Mesozoic, the, the Beasts of the Mesozoic, like they, they look awesome. Especially the Beasts of the Cyberzoic. Those look incredible, man. Those look really, really great. So I'm 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 very, very down with down with those ones. And speaking of being down, Kwamin, thank you so much, brother. $4.99. Keep up the amazing work. You know what? I will. I will keep up the amazing work. Because that's super kind of you. So, dude, thank you for feeding Godzilla. That's really, really generous of you. I uh, so you can come out, you can come out and get your money. That's all right. You've earned it. There you go, little fella. Dude, thank you, man. That's that. That's awesome. I'm kind of surprised Hasbro went with Capcom's design for Cable, but I'm not mad about it at all. I will be nabbing that one, dude. Me too. I'm no. Actually, I say that. I I don't know. I'm still on the fence. It's funny. Like I'll either get just that, or I'll get the entire wave, depending on what's available at the time. Because I would. I'd love to do reviews for all these guys. I really, really would do. 
Iron Man, my life is slightly behind. Excited for you to move to the East Coast when the time comes. Dude, eventually, when the, when the time comes, you all are going to know about it. Sorry I'm late, Dave. Surprised there's no Deadpool 3 figures. Uh, Wolverine and Deadpool are in abundance right now, but Pyro or maybe a little leak character for old time's sake. Uh, yeah, um, D Dan was very smart to put out ahead of time uh, that, yeah, they weren't going to be having any MCU ones, which makes makes sense. That I guess they wanted to hold off with those. Honestly, having so much comic book stuff, that's awesome. I'm I'm more than happy for them to, to fire out all the comic book stuff. Uh, I'm going to go back to the stream just for just for kicks, so we can have have another little, a little review. So yeah, um, I I know that we will get probably MCU stuff eventually, but in the meantime, it's all good. Robo said this in his video that he will probably buy all those dinosaurs he has been eyeing to go with Kazar, and I might buy some dinos myself. Dude, that's the thing. I mean, look, we got we got Rexy up here. Rexy is going to look the bomb with Kazar because also that that's great if you have, if a dinosaur is small that's fine it's just a it, it's a baby dinosaur so yeah man again now that now that i'm thinking about that yeah kazar would look amazing next to the jurassic park dinosaurs oh man there's a lot to consider there there is a lot to consider there's uh, we we got some things to ponder and i don't mind pondering i don't mind pondering yeah that prowler is getting bought i need marvel legends to release an echo figure already this is torture echo is definitely overdue I, I would love to see Echo. I re I really, really would. That that David Mack de design art style, I think is terrific. It, it, it really, really is. So I got a lot of love for that. So hopefully, hopefully we will see it at some point because she's a beautifully toyetic design as well. I love the, the the palm print on the face and just, yeah, that that's really great. I think that's one of the reasons why I really, I didn't really like the MCU, the Disney Plus interpretation of Echo because I felt like, I, just, I don't feel you're capturing the aesthetics of the character. And that, that was a bit of a disappointment. So, yeah, to, to at least get that look in Marvel Legends form, that, that would be awesome. I'd love to see that. That design for Cable is from the comics. It's not a Capcom unique thing. He had it during James Robinson's run. Oh, yeah, no, Fuzzy. Uh, I, I know, but that's always just like what we... It, it's so prominent in Marvel versus Capcom. I think that's what a lot of people associate it with. No, because when I when I see that cable design, I think about uh, uh, techno virus cable. That's something I was going to say was I, I would have loved to have seen this cable come with an alternate head where he's got the, the techno virus growing out of his face like during the Onslaught saga. That would have been awesome. That would have been really, really cool. Uh, also, I mean, if you wanted to go even further with that, he could have had the the huge, big, crazy metal arm that he had at one point during that time. That would have been wicked. That would have been really, really fun. But hey, I appreciate they don't didn't want to go too over the top with that. I can't be the only one who would really love a Capcom Psylocke. Anyone? Uh, no, I mean, Capcom Psylocke is pretty much just, you know, regular 90s Psylocke. And it's it's been a while. It, it's been a while since we had a regular 90s Psylocke. I mean, the last one came out, was it was it the Juggernaut wave or the Apocalypse wave? It was a long time ago. It was certainly a long, long time ago. Uh, we need MVC, Marrow, and Sentinel. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Those are two huge ones. That I would really, really, really love to see. Uh, Marrow would be great. I just as, as a standalone '90s X-Men character, I, that would be a guaranteed cop for me for my '90s X-Men display. I would love to see that. And then the the Marvel versus Capcom, or you know, uh, Children Children of the Atom Sentinel. That as a deluxe figure or a builder figure, see that would be a builder figure that I would buy an entire wave for. To be honest, even if I didn't want any of the characters in a builder figure wave i would buy an entire wave to get that sentinel because you could always sell off the other characters and still you know it, you'd come out okay with it <laughs> a big bug man about to ask a girl out wish me luck dave oh dude best of luck to you just you know be yourself just just be you know confident and polite and respectful and hey whatever whatever will be will be hopefully you get it you get a good response and if not you know what Move, move on. Swim, swim to deeper waters. There's, there's plenty of fish out there. Capcom Psylocke might be a bit too thick for today's standards. I hope not. 
<laughs> Possibly, yeah. I, I, that's one of the reasons I did. I did love that art style so much, the Marvel versus Capcom, because they were they were they were bright and animated and cheesecakey and just fun. They were really really fun designs. So I'd love to see more of that. When will people realize that the majority of the MVC character designs are just comic designs from the time? Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, pretty that they all are. I don't think any of the MVC designs are unique to Marvel versus Capcom. But we just, I think that was a gateway for so many people into uh, comic books or certain characters that we just, you know, we, we like to refer to those as the, the Marvel versus Capcom designs. But I don't, I don't think there are too many people out there who think like, like that is an exclusive sort of look made by Capcom. I think they appreciate that, no, this, this is the design that the character was rocking at the time. So yeah, I just, and again, people love making teams. People love finishing teams as well, which is not always easy. But yeah, that's why I, I, I love you know, being able to put together a Marvel versus Capcom display. That's wicked. Do you think we'll ever get an Arnim Zola figure with the face sculpted into the chest? Also, I almost love the new Zemo, but the gloves should be yellow and the unmasked face is inaccurate. Yeah, I, I thought that, um, I, you know, I don't think you'll ever get Zola with a sculpted face because it shouldn't be sculpted, should it? It's like a, it's a flat TV screen. So it, it kind of makes sense that it, it is just flat. Uh, unless I'm wrong, I, I'm not a I'm not a Zola expert, but I think that's the case. So I don't mind it, you know, being that way. Uh, and also, yeah, with uh, Zemo, that is surprising because yeah, I didn't notice that the gloves were white as opposed to yellow until people pointed it out. And then I thought, oh, okay, was that the case? Because if it is, then that is an unusual choice to make to have them be white. Because also, that's just less interesting. It's, it's not as exciting having white gloves. The yellow ones would pop a whole lot more. So I'm surprised they went in that direction. Uh, hope the hope with Kazar coming out and the X-Men yellow blue uniform team from the Crossroads arc, we will get a Savage Land rogue. Probably not, though. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I would love to see a Savage Land rogue. I think a lot of people would. But it might be a little bit too risque, maybe impaled hot take actually i don't know if this is a hot take but fortnite is actually really good at making marvel designs way better than mcu i haven't played enough fortnite to be able to comment on that but i think the general aesthetic of fortnite is is quite pretty it's a fun animated sort of style for most hydra characters i just need them to look close to how they did during ed brobaker's cap run still the best cap run uh only fans Oh, no, sorry. Of all time. Wow. <laughs> that's that's how the internet changes your brain. And I will not hear otherwise. Dude, I need to read some of those because I've heard such good things about that. I need to I need to, to get in on that. I'm guessing we get Shana the She-Devil in a box set reissue with the bath. Very possible. Very possible. Yeah. It's absolutely mind-blowing that we now have three Arnim Zolas in Legends. Who would have guessed? So I, I know that we do have one that's in a two pack. Was there a builder? No, there was no. There wasn't a builder figure. Was there? No. Or was there? I I don't know. I lose track. But um, who did who did um the evil Captain America Hydra Cap come with? He was in a two pack, wasn't he? Was was that was that the, the two pack Arn and Zola? I I forget. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Now Ed Brobaker Cap themed OnlyFans will haunt me. <laughs> You're welcome. There you go. I, I brought that on myself. I need Hasbro to do a Clone Saga Peter Parker costume on the Renew Your Vows buck, but I would love the Big Eyes Mark Bagley style. Okay, Tom. So you're saying kind of, yeah, a Mark Bagley style Spider-Man. Dude, I'd love to see it too. Which it, it wouldn't be that different from the Renew Your Vows Spidey. I just feel like maybe a slightly brighter blue with the, the the bigger Bagley kind of eyes, I mean, I, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. I I would absolutely, I would uh, I, I'd go for that in a, in a second. Just anything '90s Bagley style, I would love to see. Uh, the Baff Arnim Zola from 2012, the two pack with Hydra Cap, and now this two pack. Okay, th so there was a 2012 Baff. I wasn't sure. I I thought I thought there might be, but I couldn't place it. Savage Land Rogue would be the first ever Marvel Legend I pre-order, only if they did it right. To be honest, Fortnite does make some really good Marvel skins. Same with a lot of other crossovers. 90% of their skins are good adaptions of what they're from. You know what? I, I Actually, guys, complete tangent here. Helldivers, okay? I don't do online gaming, 
but I've been hearing so much awesome stuff about Hell Divers, and I'm a huge fan of Starship Troopers. I really want to get into this game, but it's pretty much like online team based. So if anyone is on the PS5 and online gaming and you fancy like Hell Divers, uh, hit me up because I think we need to put together a model behavior squad. Okay, because I think we need we need to go and spread model behavior throughout the galaxy. So hit me up if you want to be a, a, a part of that Helldivers team. Since Mayfex Venom and Carnage feels so badly, I'd love a 616 Spidey to go with them. Well, I mean, the, the Mayfex Spidey is, I mean, he's not a perfect Mark Bagley design, but he's pretty, pretty close, pretty close. Why are we getting figures from 2012 in 2024? <laughs> Good question. Does feel like a little bit of recycling and reuse going on there. I don't know how I feel about that. Comic-Con Zabu and Bath Lola now reissued a second time. Total use four times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. That's not being fair, Rick. Zabu is not a reissue. That's that's a completely new action figure right there. So yeah, Zola, that, that is pretty much the same thing, I think. I think it's been tweaked a little bit. But Z Zabu is a legit, completely new figure. Dude, I'm a modern child. I need my damn spectacular Spider-Man. I'll even take the 2012 one. Forgot the name, but there's too many of them. Spectacular, spectacular Spider-Man. I do love that theme tune. Never watched the rest of the show, but I love the intro. While they're making Hydra member figures, do you think they'll ever make a Dr. Faustus? The kingpin body is the perfect physique and the perfect size for him. They just have to make his head. <clears throat> They could do, I suppose. I mean, they, they they have been making some some great deep cut Hydra characters. Uh, the um, oh gosh, what's his name? Um, the uh, Strucker, ba Baron von Strucker. The fact that we got uh, a von Strucker and he was actually good. I thought he looked decent. Um, you never know. You never know. We might get that. Oh yeah, I forgot that 2012 Bath Arnim Zola had a variant Red Skull Zola. So technically, we have four Arnim Zolas. Okay, but only technically. Only technically. That's that, that's a little bit of a push there. Uh, hey, I'm down. I can use my PS4. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try and put something together so we can get a team model behavior. Why is the classic 616 eye patch fury not a thing with these great new shield figure um, bucks and decos? Game Quest, to be fair, to be fair to Hasbro on this, because you got to be fair. You got to be fair to Hasbro and you got to be fair to Flair. I think that they'll probably do that classic Nick Fury in a separate single release. And if they do, like, that's fine. Because I was saying before, I, I thought they were going to pack that classic head in with the other three. But if they did, you would still need an extra body. So they might as well just do it as a separate figure because you're going to be buying an extra buck to put it on. So they might as well just do it all in. Mike! Mike D, $2. Thank you so much, man. I'll pay extra if Sabu <laughs> comes with Zebu. What, you mean the, the, the homicidal, genocidal, death-defying Sabu? I'd like to see that. But, dude, thank you so much for the $2, man. That's really, really kind of you. We're getting very patriotic here. Dude, the only tune that we haven't had this morning is the love theme. Oh, no, I call it the love theme. It's the Godzilla melting down theme. Not very romantic, but we haven't had that one yet. But we might do. Because Lewis just threw four bucks more, five bucks my way. Thank you so much, man. Have you ever considered doing reaction videos to Marvel Legends displays submitted by your subscribers? I have. Actually, dude, that's a really good question. I have considered doing that. The only difficulty is that, you know, it's difficult to, well, it's not difficult. But it can, sometimes that can be a bit, a bit of rigmarole to to send large files. Because, like, if you wanted to send an, an, an HD 10 minute video file like you got to probably use like we transfer or something and it just seems like it's a it's a, a lot of work that people probably wouldn't be wanting to do so i never sort of went in that direction but i mean i could do if that's something that people want to see if someone wants to jump on we transfer and send me a 10 minute you know tour video i'd kind of like that so that is something that i, I could look into because certainly I, I i love looking at people's displays and collections especially if they're not just just a set of a team but an unusual sort of like like again like a marvel versus capcom display that that's a display i'd like to take a look at and also um uh yeah uh, i i don't know his name but i actually messaged him directly uh there's there's a guy who has this 
awesome X-Men display that I love that's made up of uh, not just action figures, but statues as well. So it's like it's like a Sentinel statue and a Colo um, Juggernaut statue along with Marvel Legends and Mafex and Mezcos and all sorts of things. And I messaged him. I was like, dude, if you send me more pictures and videos, I'll do a whole video on that display. But he hasn't got back to me. So, you know, he's probably he, he's probably probably busy, like living his life and doing stuff that doesn't involve action figures. And honestly, I I just don't understand that. I just don't understand it. <laughs> but dude, thank you. Thank you so much for feeding Godzilla. Come on. How'd you get? Get get your money. Come on, fella. There you go. Dude, thank you so much, man. That's really kind of you. No, Dave, don't become SS Sniper War. Sniper War. I don't know who that is. Do they do, they do reaction videos? Don't, don't worry. This, this isn't going to become a reaction channel. Uh, it's always going to be... You know, model behavior has been model behavior for the last four years. We we ain't mixing things up too much. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think Kane would be in the game. Recrap is accurate, but Kane is too much of a Z-list character to have him in the game. I don't... What, you talking about the Spider-Man game? Sorry, I, that was jumping into the middle of a conversation there. But also, uh, Kane should be in every game, whether or not it's Marvel. Just, you know, Gears of War, boom, Kane. Call of Duty, Kane. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, Kane. <laughs> If not, straight to jail. We still need three more guys for the Winter Guard, like Chernobog, Vostak, and a new Crimson Dynamo. All right, I'm not up on my Crimson Guard, but yeah, if you if you've done this much of the team, then come on, you gets to you gets to complete the rest of it. That's what we've always been saying. That's what we always get very very up and you know excited about. We you just 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 give us that sense of completion of satisfaction. That's what you want. You want, you want some guaranteed satisfaction. And it's very rare that you can do that. Display moral behavior. That's me. How about if you request photos with a certain theme? Uh, yeah, honestly, the photos, not, not so much. I, I, I don't find that personally like that sort of exciting because people post photos on like the Facebook groups all day. I mean, the model behavior Facebook group is technically the best Facebook group for Marvel Legends. Just saying, you know, I I don't know how you can measure that, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. So, so posting photos like that, that that's easy enough to do. And also, if I um if I'm like commissioning photos and stuff, like it, it's it, it, again, it's so many things that are a, a time suck. Because like literally, as I said, like I'm I'm editing at work, and when I'm not editing at work, I'm editing and filming at home. Like I have no free time. Like literally. And that's my choice because I love doing this. But it also means that any other thing that I do, I've got to I've got to calculate like what am I going to sacrifice time wise to do this? And sometimes it, it ain't that easy. Dave, do you play an instrument? I play the violin, drums, and pianos. Oh wow, that's that's a heck of a lineup. I don't know. I am not musically inclined at all. It's funny. I'm I'm a performer through and through. Down 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 to my down to my bones, I'm a performer, but I don't have a musical bone in my body. Uh, Dave said soccer. I think he has to turn in his British card. Dude, that's the name of the game. Pro Evolution Soccer. All right. I'm allowed to say, say that. Also, I, I, I don't give a tiny rat's you know what about football or soccer. So <laughs> as I stick to, I stick out my pinky in shame as an American in Colorado. Dude, it, it, is, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not musical. And I'm not sports-based. Those two things, I don't have a single gene in my body for those. I'm making a stop-motion Wolverine versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's kind of fun. I wonder who'd win that, actually. The only instrument Dave needs is his majestic voice. <laughs> it does help. So, Dave, when are you moving to the States? Um, no, I'm going to be in Japan for at least an another year first. Uh, yeah, oh, it it's all... It's all in flux. It, it's all, it all depends on work and careers and this and that. I might stay in Japan longer. We, we don't know. But at the moment, one of the kind of ideal scenarios is to go to New York next year. But that all depends on how careers are going and, and you know, what, what's happening. So who knows? Who knows? But we, we'll see. We'll see how things develop. This uh, Crimson Crimson Guard lady here, again, I call her the Crimson Guard because I was going to say, she just reminds me of Star Wars. She she just looks like she should be guarding the Emperor's throne room. That's that's all that I really know that kind of look from. I wonder if she's had like very memorable comic appearances. I, I recognize her from comic book artwork, but I don't know how you know prominently she features. 
Dave, in the States, would it be at his lowest point we'll have to deal with exclusives? Oh, wow, that's a thought. Yeah, I'd have to go like toy hunting in Target and Best Buy or Toys R Us or whatever. That, that would be interesting to contend with. I love the Japan story arc of display model behavior. It matches with my time zone and the character development is good. Early graphics were bad though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, the production team in, at, the first, at the first part of that season, the production team was very overworked and underfunded. So <laughs> that, was, that was tough going when we first got here. If you read the early Thunderbolts appearances, the head from Red Widow could be put onto a Scarlet Witch body for an easy Crimson Cowl figure. Interesting. Okay, I mean, I, I read the OG Thunderbolts, but I mean, it's terrifying to think that was nearly 30 years ago. Whoa, geez. That was nearly 30 years ago. Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> We're getting old, lads. <laughs> We're getting old. I hate to break that to you. Uh, laugh my ass off. He said Toys R Us. Haha, <laughs> that's a dead store. But it's, isn't, isn't some of the figures like Toys R Us listed? I mean, are they still a retailer somewhere? Oh gosh, that's good. That coffee's cold. Oh, 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 I wasn't expecting cold coffee. I don't know why I thought it would be hot. I've been here for over an hour. The new carnage looks great, but shouldn't his teeth be black? Not necessarily retro tube. That that that's a very specific art style. I was saying earlier in this live stream that the Carnage looks just like the Carnage design from uh, Spider-Man X-Men crossover that was set in the 90s. So classically, Carnage does have the either red or black teeth that just go on from the same color as his face. But occasionally, occasionally he is drawn with actual teeth, teeth. And I kind of dig that. So this is a very different, very specific Carnage design. And I actually, I really like it. If Dave visits the US, he better stay away from my local Walmarts and malls or shooting ranges. If we're, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a little dark, but you know, a concern. Hope that rumored mystique comes on the new Black Widow body. Is there a rumored mystique? I don't, I, did, did, did I start a rumor about mystique? <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, I, I honestly, I don't have a mystique figure. So if they did do a mystique on the super articulated body, I'd be very happy to see it. I would be very happy to pick that up because I, since, ever since I got the blob, thank you so much for that. I really have wanted to build up the the brotherhood, especially with the new saber tooth coming out. Uh, I want to get, I want to go back and repurchase because I sold mine. I want to repurchase the select juggernaut. Uh, yeah, I, I think building a brotherhood team would be super fun. I think I still have pyro. I might even, you know, buy a secondhand toad. So there's a lot of fun to be had. Or even the Toy Biz toad. Go super retro. Because you know me, I love mixing things up. There's a rumored mystique. Ah, yes, Fuzzy, you're right. I did talk about that. <laughs> I completely forget about the nonsense I'm just talking about half the time. I need it on my Black Widow body. Hopefully. You never know. You never know. It might happen. I found Black Widow on eBay a few weeks ago. My classic Avengers is now complete and they're all battling Galactus. Dude, you see, that is why Marvel Legends will always be awesome. As long as they keep doing the same style they are. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they do do things that make you go, seriously? But then they also do things that make you go like, yes, you know, pump your fist. That looks awesome. And when you see your Avengers fighting Galactus, you're like, yeah, that's, that's why, that's why we love it. That's why we love it. Hunting down secondhand loose figures for really affordable prices at local comic shops and collectible stores has become a new favorite activity for me personally. Dude, me too, man. I I, I love it. I love going toy hunting in secondhand stores. It, it's just, it's just the most fun. And, and that's why I love conventions as well. I, I, like, when I go to, like, a Comic-Con or something, I have zero interest in, uh, you know, like, the celebrity panels or movie panels or anything like that the hasbro panel of course i'll be excited for but really it's it's the, it's the small retailers it's the small secondhand retailers those are the ones i want to go and see i want to i want to go find the deep cut figures that are you know knocked down in price and i love that dude i really love that i also got a wired cape for my thor figure looks great ah oh, wired capes you gotta love it in fact in just a couple of days the new Revoltec Thor is going to be hitting store shelves. So uh, <laughs> I know that he's a bit orange. I know he's got a bit of an Oompa Loompa vibe going on, but I just, I, I think I want him. I, I, I really do. I, I like the look of him.
I personally am not into buying used figures as much. I like cracking them open and taking a whiff of the fresh plastic. Dude, there's something to be said about that plastic crack. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. But if you can find like a bargain figure, yeah, then then it's it, it's great to, to find like there's there's one store in Osaka, Adamski, that has a whole bunch of secondhand stuff, and it, it seems to update like all the time. I don't know how they 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 get so much new stuff in every week that I go in there. They got new things, uh, but yeah, it's great fun walking in there and just seeing like you know what have you got this time? What have you found? So this cable again, I just wanted to pause on this cable because <sighs> it's exactly what it needs to be. You know, I, I you you know from watching this show, I'll 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 moan and complain as good as anyone else. But when they get it right, they get it right. I mean, yes, of course. Is there things that they could have made better about it? Absolutely. Uh, especially like the, the waist swivel. But then again, having said that, having said that, he's got the belt around his waist that kind of covers and hides that. So really, there's nothing to be mad about. I just I I like it. Did, what's What's going on with his torso? Is, is that a torso swivel? The, okay, uh, help me out in the chat. All right, I'm focusing on the, on the chat now. Does Cable have a torso swivel or is it a crunch? Because I appreciate with his yellow kind of suspenders, that's going to limit his articulation anyway. But it, it, is, is, that, is that a torso swivel? I think it's a torso swivel. Shall I say torso swivel one more time? Torso swivel. There you go. I, I, I think that might be the case. It, it's difficult to see because, okay, okay, Joey, cable has ab crunch. It, it's just a normal ab, ab crunch. Okay, okay. We, we, we got crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> We're being crunched. Okay, all right. It looks like there's no swivel. Uh, I, I, I thought for a second it, it looked, because it was sort of like this arched kind of look, I, I thought that that was it, but no. All right, it's just a regular swivel. To be honest, I'm always going to have Cable sort of standing up, sort of straight and very sort of militaristic anyway, so that's fine. But again, having said that, as as much as I do like the look of this, I don't know if it's enough to replace my Revoltek. In fact, I can tell you it's definitely not. <laughs> it's not enough to replace my Revoltek, but it, it does look good. And the face in particular, the face in particular does look lovely. And also, good, totally random, Cable's non-cybernetic arm is a Hercules arm reuse. How can you how can you tell these things, Joey? I mean, I'm sure you're right, but just how can you spot that? I, I don't know how you can like just you've got this eye to just pick these things out. Wu Wu Tang Batman. No, Wu Tang Batman. There you go. I used to be totally against used figures. Uh, but more than half of my collection is built up of bargain buys. I can't wait for that new cable. Got hyped as hell when he popped up. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. But not enough 90s pouches for my taste. Yeah, you can never have too many pouches. But hey, if 90s pouches is your thing, then Loose Collector is going to have you covered with his Rob Liefeld Image Comics line. That's They're going to be so much fun, man. I'm, I'm so psyched for those. Uh, I don't have a cable, so he's a must-have for me. Dude, if you don't have any cable figure, then yeah, a hundred percent, you got to pick this dude up. And also, now I'm thinking because that they've done cable in this, you know, mid '90s costume design. I'm thinking, are we gonna get an animated re-release of the Jim Lee? No, not Jim Lee. Sorry, uh, Rob Liefeld looking cable. Because I mean, he's such a staple from the X Men '90s animated show. And also, that cable figure is one of the best Marvel Legends ever made. It, it's really surprising that they haven't released him already. Joey, I have this uncanny ability to identify parts immediately. It must be decades of Marvel Legend collecting. Dude, I swear you've got, like, Terminator vision. Anytime a, a new figure comes up, you're like... It just picks out every individual part and tells you what it is. That'd be a cool little gimmick. What did all the nineties? What did all the nineties characters keep in their pouches? Their edge. Everyone was edgy in the nineties. You know where they kept their edge? They kept their edge in their pouches. That's how it worked. Vaca. All right, gang. I got homework to do. I can't read and listen to the stream at the same time. Oh, dude, I can't imagine trying to do anything while listening to me rambling on. Not sure when I'll be in another chat. Have a good one, dude. I'm sure that when we see you, it'll be another good time. Go do your homework. We will get an animated series cable repainted. I hope so, Guamin, because I'd love to see it. The only problem with Hasbro doing that is that they will be showing the world what they used to do. And it's like, you see this? 
This is about seven or eight years old now. Look at how good it is. Look at how far we haven't come because this is better than so many of the things we put out today. Yeah, that could be a difficult sell. I honestly like the pouches. I think it makes it really realistic. It was a bit over the top, but then again, where does Batman keep all his gadgets? I know he has more than he can fit in his belt. That's also very true. Look, I'm a pockets and pouches guy as well. I, I just think it's a cool, fun aesthetic. It just makes things interesting. When the 90s finally die down, I'm going to have myself the 2000s. Imagine the animated movie figures, the spectacular Spider-Man and prime MCU, baby. I don't know. I mean, nostalgia is a huge thing. It, it always has been. It always will be. So people are always going to gravitate to what is most nostalgic for them. So of course, of course, I'm going to be most nostalgic for the 90s. And it does make me sad that eventually, as you say, Impaled, the 90s will kind of die down. And we won't have so many 90s kids that are beating the drum for the 90s goodness. And it will move into the 2000s. And then I'll be like, well, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know why, but I honestly like the bath for the new series a lot. It's just a saber-toothed tiger, but I love it. Dude, they've done a really good job with it. That 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 Zabu, it looks nice. It really, really does. I dig it. I, I totally dig it. So again, like that's that's just me saying if I only wanted Kazar and Zabu, then I would probably just buy Kazar and then you know go onto Amazon and buy a saber-toothed tiger toy. Because it would be a lot cheaper than buying the rest of the wave. But, you know, if you get to buy the whole wave anyway, I mean, look, if, if I wasn't, I'm trying to imagine a fictional world where I'm not a, a YouTuber who's obsessed with making content. If I was just buying these for me, I the, I, I would probably, I, I, I'd only get a couple from this this wave. I would, I'd want to get uh, Cable uh, and Kazar. That, that's it. The, the other ones are fine, but I just don't have any need for them. Uh, Wolf Spain, you know, I, I don't have an X Factor collection anymore. Superior Iron Man, eh, I don't need it. Uh, same with Icarus, um, the, the, the evil Thor and Crimson Lady. Yeah, they just don't really mean anything to me. So yeah, those would be an easy, an easy pass, an easy pass for this guy over here. But that doesn't mean that they're bad figures. It just means that without a builder figure or, you know, trying to do channel reviews or anything, there's nothing that I would really, you know, need to get them for. Looking at Quasar makes me wish Marvel Legends teams worked on Masters of the Universe. Dude, I think the Marvel Legends, sorry, what am I saying? The Masters of the Universe figures from Mattel, I think they're great. It's just the paintwork. They, they always just look a bit plasticky to me, which is a, is a shame because... I think the sculpting on the Masters of the Universe figures looks terrific. The mechanics of the figures are great. But um, yeah, especially the mixed media as well, like Beast Man with the fur and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Apple bottom jeans, Beast Man with the fur. <laughs> Sorry, it's in my head now. Um, they're, they're terrific. But for whatever reason, they just feel a bit plasticky. If we had the Mattel figures with the Hasbro good paintwork, would Hasbro do good paint? Oof, that would be a great combination. Speaking of a great combination, Steve or Stephen and giving away money. That's a great combination, dude. Thank you so much, man. I'm not an MCU collector besides Carbage. <laughs> Carbage? What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's because I, I was thinking of Sony Carnage and Garbage and it became Carbage. Besides Carnage and Morbius, it meh for me. Uh, Iron Man should be silver. Dude, we were saying that earlier. Like, Kind of missed a trick on that. He should be chrome, like a silver chrome kind of look. I know that there is artwork where it does look more white, but the vast majority, it's it's silver. It should have been silver. No Spider Carnage is a disappointment. It, that is a disappointment. Uh, no Punisher, no Blade, no Man Spider, and no Superior Spider-Man. Dude, <laughs> when you start rattling off the figures that I would have loved to have seen... It does make me feel a little bit like, oh, yeah, we are missing a lot of good stuff. But that's not to say that we won't get them at some point. Uh, you know, Spider Carnage, I, I would be so happy to see that. But also, I, if we got that, I would really, really hope that it would be with the Mark Bagley Spider Carnage head. I have a horrible feeling that they would do the animated Spider Carnage head, which I really hate because it's like symbiotes with, with lips especially a carnage, a carnage symbiote with, with, with lips just looks so weird. I, ugh, I, I don't like that. So I really hope that they, <laughs> it's so funny. We're, we're so demanding as fans. This is what I want. 
but I don't want it like this. I want it like this. So I would I would love to get a comic book Spider Carnage. That that would be great. Uh, Punisher, I we, I we're never going to get Punisher again. I, I'm still. I, and hey, if I'm ever wrong, great. I'd be happy. I'd be thrilled to get a Punisher figure. But I don't think we're ever going to get classic Skull Frank Castle ever again. So there you go. Uh, as much as I'd love to see it. That that ain't happening. Blade, I'm surprised that yeah, uh, Blade of, of, obviously Blade and Morbius would have been a, a perfect two pack because Doctor Strange. I mean, yeah, you know, he's got the different look in the animated series a bit, but it still feels like uh, if you want a Doctor Strange figure, then you could quite easily just buy the the, the single release Doctor Strange. You don't need him for that two pack. That blade would have been way better, but it would have also required, you know, more more work and tooling. And they they got their budget they have to stick to. Man Spider, I don't need it, but it would be fun. The old Toy Biz Man Spider is wicked. He, I, I keep seeing him at a secondhand store, and I'm like, ah, oh, do I want to get him? Do I need a Man Spider figure? And then I realize, no. No, I, I don't need a man spider, but he does look fun. But of course, the biggest one, dude, biggest one is Superior Spider-Man. Oh my goodness. If One day, one day, today is not that day and tomorrow doesn't look good either. But one day we will get a Superior Spider-Man. And when we do, brother, I will be doing backflips in joy. But uh, not yet. Either way, thank you so, so much for the 999, my friend. We're going to feed Godzilla. Come on, little fella. How'd you get? There you go. Thank you so much, man. That's really, really kind of you. And it doesn't stop there. Joey B, my S-tier friend, $10. There's no such thing as a saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> uh, guys, I would like to pause the Marvel Legends discussion. It's now Dinosaur Talk with Joey. <laughs> and dude, I love you for it. Zabu is a Smilodon. Sabretooth Cat is acceptable, but that Smilodon on Amazon is way too small to be used as Zabu. Smilodon is larger than a tiger. Also, I, I always thought Sabretooth Tiger was a, a weird sort of name because like, it doesn't have tiger stripes. I mean, I'm not a zoologist. I can't tell you if that's the necessity for something to be a tiger, but I'm like, shouldn't a tiger have stripes? So there you go. There's no such thing as a saber-toothed tiger. That does make sense. So yeah, but it, it, it does sound funny saying, ah, here comes, here comes Kezar and his Smilodon. <laughs> Smilodon just sounds like someone misspelled a character's name in Lord of the Rings. But yeah, I I, I do appreciate Dino Talk, Joey, because that always just puts a smile on my face. I love it. I love it when Joey comes in with Dino Facts. <laughs> And dude, thank you so much for feeding my own dinosaur. Does, does Godzilla count as a dinosaur? I've not heard that tune before. That's we just had a brand new tune. That's, after all this time, they, they've still got they've still got new ones in there. I've not come across. That's crazy. Joey, thank you so much, not just for the donation, but for the dino facts. Folks, that was Dino Facts with Joey. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Fuzzy, I'd at least like a figure of the new Punisher, Frank Fort, who is totally different and your new favorite. And ironically, would like him and Rachel Cole to get a Punisher team going. Genuinely, I've read the first issue of that new Punisher and I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it, but at the same time, it, it's not much of a departure from Frank Castle. Like even the skull logo on his chest, like it doesn't look that different to the regular Frank Castle skull. So why not just keep Frank Castle and just change the skull a bit? I, I, I don't know. Uh, but genuinely, I quite enjoyed that first uh, issue. The only thing that um, sort of makes that Punisher, the, the new Punisher is very different from, from Frank Castle uh, because something I think that people get wrong when they're reinterpreting the Punisher's origin a lot is like the whole point of Frank Castle, the, the tragedy of Frank Castle's family being killed is that it was random. It was so it was just it was just the crime and the corruption of New York spilled out and his family got killed. Whereas whenever they change the backstory or they do a new Punisher where it's like the, the loss that he suffers is because it was directly targeted at him. That kind of loses the 
the, the drive of what he's fighting against. Because if, if, if it's a direct attack against him, then surely he should just punish the people who did that, and then he's good. Whereas the whole point of Frank Castle is he can never stop doing what he's doing as long as there are still criminals and bad guys out there. Because that's what he's fighting. He's fighting this nebulous war against crime. Ah! <laughs> I knew I wasn't going crazy. Boom! Toys R Us in Canada. There you go. I knew I'd seen Toys R Us. So I appreciate that, yes, if I move to New York, I will not be going around Toys R Us stores. But I knew I saw Toys R Us somewhere on that video. That's it. Over in Canada, they've still got Toys R Us, it would seem. All right, there you go. That's my little my little rant there. Blade or Punisher will be a two-pack if they make it with some obscure character to go with it. Uh, again, I, I don't think we'll get animated Blade. Uh, sorry, uh, animated Punisher. We could get animated Blade. There, there's, there's a very distinct possibility. We could totally see an animated Blade, and I'd be happy to see that. Crazy that Punisher and Batman have similar motivations, but polar opposite hero strategies. Dude, as I was explaining my logic behind the Punisher's backstory, I was thinking, that's totally Batman as well. Like, if if if, if Batman's you know, origin was changed so that it was like a direct assassination of his parents, then yeah, that would lose the whole point of his quest for vengeance against crime as a whole so yeah you've got to be you've got to be specific with that but i don't mind them doing that origin with the new punisher because he's not frank castle he is a different person so he can have different motivations agreed dave when they have frank's family killed as part of a conspiracy it takes away from it it's like when they have the waynes have a dark history with mobsters who kill them yeah that that completely just eliminates the whole point of, of what it is because certainly like the Thomas Jane Punisher movie is a guilty pleasure. It, it's not great, but I, I enjoy it. But the fact that it was like a, an assassination, like a hit on his family, that that loses the, the Punisher motif. And similarly, I, I can't remember, but I think like the Netflix Punisher, it was the same thing. Well, wasn't it? Like the Netflix Punisher, that was all a conspiracy and like weapons dealing and Afghanistan or something. It, it was a whole thing. It wasn't just a random act of violence, but it's the randomness that gives him the motivation. So when you lose that, you lose a lot of the character. I just went back to your videos and Rectangular's video and came up with a list on what we have rumored and what's been officially confirmed. We are in for a hell of a year. That's the thing. That's the thing with the with the leak videos. I, I, I know that Hasbro obviously don't like it. I, I know that that's arguably a dick move. And I, 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 I don't like that, but at the same time, Marvel Legends collectors love it. We, we, we love getting excited. We love getting the, the, the news and the leaks out early so that we can get excited and start to predict things and guess about things. And look, if you don't want to see what's coming out, you, you don't got to watch it. <laughs> you know? um, but yeah, I, I think it's because even though you might get a list of figures, that doesn't, that doesn't tell you what they're going to look like. It doesn't tell you how they're going to be presented, packaged, what styles, designs, aesthetics you still have that to look forward to. I feel like like the 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 leak things it's it's like putting out a movie trailer. It's like you you still want to see the movie. If anything, it gets you more excited for it. It gets the people going. Anyway, that's just that's just my justification. <laughs> I think the new Punisher book was already cancelled. That 12 issue Punisher story that ended Frank was hot garbage. It it, it was it was bad. And I can say that because I actually read it and it was not good. That that was oof. talking about assassinations, that was a character assassination. Frank Castle willing to work with the hand because they magically resurrect his zombie wife. That's completely contrary to anything frank would ever do there have been so many instances in the past where a mystical character has gone to frank castle and been like hey we can bring your family back if we want us to and he's like no i don't want you to they're they're gone they're dead they're, they're not coming back even if you bring whatever you bring back is not my family so like that, they, they've done that story multiple times and then just randomly for the sake of convenience to the writer, they, they go, we can bring your family back. And he's like, okay, <laughs> no, obviously not. Michael, you're saying Madam Web is my guilty pleasure. I love that movie because it is so bad. You can't try to make a film that bad. It has to happen organically. That's what makes it special. 
you're actually very, very true about that. And, and that's where the marketing, like if you market it, that, that's where Morbius, like the whole, you know, the that's why the re-release of Morbius didn't work because it was too self-aware. Sony were like, ha ha, this movie sucks. It's morbid time. It's like, no, no, you gotta, you gotta just be a part of the train wreck as it happens, as it unfolds, let it occur naturally. Then, then, then you gotta, you got a fun midnight movie train wreck on your hands. As soon as you're like self-aware about it, you, you lose the appeal. Yeah, Netflix Punisher was targeted because of some drugs. It ruined it for me. It makes his vengeance quest have a target and not be like he's lashing out at the world, which is part of the tragedy. Agreed. Amazing how these like highly paid Hollywood script writers and production teams just don't don't get it. They they, they just don't get it. Eric, are you gonna get the Mafex Wolverine reissue? I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very tempted. If I see him in store, then I probably will do. If I see him in store, I probably will do because I've been want I've been wanting that figure for a long time. I mean, it's 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 hard to justify though. So, so I, I I don't know because I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to make good decisions. Um, you know, I've I, I've I've got the Mef the Mezco Wolverine, and the Mezco Wolverine is he's he's amazing. I I love him. I know that he's. You know, he, he's a, a Marmite figure. I know some people hate that, <laughs> Mezco Wolverine. I think he's great. I, I love him. So I don't need a new Wolverine. But yeah, man, that 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 Mafex is just, it, it, it's, been, it's been my white whale. It's been my Moby Dick white whale for so long that I, I feel like if I saw him in store, I would really want to get my hands on him. Uh, I would really like that Mafex Wolverine if the stripes on the torso were black. Yeah, it, it's funny. I never noticed that that wasn't accurate until someone pointed it out. And I was like, ah, shoot. <laughs> you, had, you had to go and show me that, didn't you? Because, because now I can't unsee it. It, it, it does look un inaccurate. I was going to say unaccurate. That's not a word. It does look inaccurate. And that is kind of a shame. But uh, I can look past it. I can look past it because there's, there's a lot of good stuff going on with that. Marvel Legends Wolverine is so good for the price, in my opinion. Mafex Wolverine is an easy pass for me. Again, I I do I do love this Marvel Legends Wolverine. He's great. If he only had a snarling head, I'd be so much happier. Dave, since you say you're a performer, do you get any drawing blood in you? Uh, this is interesting, actually. Um, I'm I'm an okay artist. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I am not an artist, but I, I can draw. Like I, I can draw to a reasonable degree, which is one thing I, I was thinking of doing, which I, I, I am going to do. I'm going to start it now. So I've got, I've got this channel sponsor, uh, Into the AM, who are a t-shirt company, and I thought, okay, look, I, the only way I can keep this sponsor is if you know they actually make make money from this sponsorship. So I was going to say, if anyone. <laughs> This is so, so stupid. It's such a model behavior thing. If anyone buys a t-shirt from Into the AM, if you like, just you know, send me a, a picture of your proof of purchase, I'll draw a picture for you. I'll draw a picture of whatever you want. And I'll, 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 hand, I'll hand draw it. And I'll use felt tip and pen and I'll make it look super fun, but also probably bad. I mean, maybe I have an overinflated opinion of my art. I'm, I might be garbage, <laughs> but I'll send it to you. So you, so I was, cause I said like, what can I, what can I give? What can I, what can I say? Like, well, why, why should you, why should you buy a t-shirt from this t-shirt company? Besides the fact that they're excellent t-shirts with badass designs. I was like, oh, there you go. I can do something. So yeah, I'll draw you a picture. And I'll send it to you wherever the heck you are in the world. If you're if, if you're in if you're in New York or Mozambique or Soviet Russia, I'll I'll draw a picture for you and I'll send it to you, and then you will have an original piece of model behavior artwork, and you can put it up on the fridge for everyone to see. I'll get a shirt just to make you draw rec rap stepping on and crushing Ben Riley, the worst spider clone. <laughs> Dude, that's so that's so petty. I love it. I, I I highly I highly appreciate that level of pettiness. More power to you, my friend. But then, fine. I dare you. I dare you to go to into the AM and and buy a T-shirt. <laughs> Show me a proof of purchase, and boom, I will draw wreck wrap stepping on Ben Riley, the worst Spider Clone. 
On the topic of Madam Web and these major production movies, after listening to Kevin Smith describe the script writing process of Superman Lives, it's baffling the creative of these screenwriters. I haven't heard Kevin Smith talking about that recently, but I'd be interested to. Um, yeah, because I, I like Kevin Smith and uh, I, I rarely listen to his podcast or anything. So I need to look into that. Uh, can Dude, of course I'll sign it. Absolutely, I'll sign it. Uh, we need a rec crap DMB merch. Well, they go. I will literally draw rec crap for you, and you can you can have it for yourself. Dave drawing through tears of Ben getting trampled. Yeah, you'll you'll see these little smudges on the page where where I've shed tears while drawing it. My guilty pleasure superhero movie is Punisher Warzone. Punisher Warzone is definitely a fun midnight movie. If someone sent a custom Dave figure but used a McFarlane as a base, would you outwardly say you love it while secretly wishing uh, they went with a different line for the base? Answer totally honest. Santa is watching. Well, I can't possibly lie to Santa. So, yes, I would be disappointed. I'd be like, ah, you, you really shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> Punisher Warzone is definitely the best Punisher movie. Honestly, dude, I'm not saying this just to be an edgelord, but I think the Dolph Lundgren Punisher movie might actually be the best Punisher movie. If only he had the, the skull logo. That was so baffling that like everything else about that Punisher movie is so brilliantly Punisher, except the, for the fact that he doesn't have the skull logo. Like, what the hell? Like, how did you how did you not do that? Still waiting on Marvel Legends to give us a definitive Iceman, the X-Men 90s animated series. Yeah, I, I would still like a classic Iceman because the retro one's not great. I Honestly, I think the Juggernaut Wave Iceman is amazing. I love the Juggernaut Wave Iceman, but he's so gummy. He's so, so gummy. Mine, mine can't stand up anymore. His ankle is hanging on by a thread. Oh, please listen to it. The ounce line is the mech spider from Wild Wild West. Just keep that in mind. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the Kevin Smith. Dude, I know the story. I know the story about the mech spider. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make Dave a 3.75 inch Dave so he can hate himself. <laughs> Dude, you don't need to make a figure for that. <laughs> and Punisher Warzone is the best Punisher movie. Hey, look, they all have, that's the thing. All the Punisher movies have something to appreciate. Like none of them are irredeemable. They've all got good stuff in them. And especially, again, I love the Thomas Jane movie, especially because Thomas Jane has so much love for the character. Because like, yeah, he, he, did, he did the unofficial short film sequel, The Laundry Day, uh, which you can watch on YouTube. Like that's, that's great stuff. I come in peace and you go in pieces. I don't know who, whose quote that is. Sounds like, like a Carnage or Wolverine one. It's kind of fun, though. I like it. Do you think Hasbro will ever do a Marvel Godzilla? I don't think so. Uh, no, that's that, that's that, that's a uh, I mean, Godzilla, that that would be a Haslab. That's even as a Haslab, it wouldn't be technically it wouldn't be big enough. I, I don't think we'd ever see that. No, I figured it out. I will make the definition of perfection for a Ben Riley figure, extra head and expressions and everything, but put it on a McFarlane buck. Oof, that is a poison chalice right there. That That is a that that is a monkey's paw wish right there that that you're you're pitching to me, John Travolta. I, I tell you what, I like I like nineties John Travolta and John Travolta as the bad guy in The Punisher. I thought was really fun, but again, it it, it just that was another thing that I really didn't like about that movie. And I I like it more than I dislike it. But the fact that like he wasn't just going out and just mercilessly you know getting revenge he was doing these weird like it was basically like a prank show like the punisher was a prankster like he was he was like setting up and framing and like doing all these these like silly things and it's like no you're putting you're putting way too much thought into this you, you, you're really overthinking this just kill him that's just 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 kill him that's that's what the punisher does you know <laughs> All right. Hey, Spider fan. See you later, brother. Man, I hope you're wrong about the Marvel Godzilla. It would be so damn cool. Ah, uh, dude, we're not. I really, I really don't think so. But it would be fun. So it's official. Dave wants us to send him custom figures he, do he doesn't have on McFarlane Bucks. I'm pretty sure I never said that. I just want to make that really clear. Okay. <laughs> Please don't send me McFarlane figures. John Travolta Punisher. Actually, you know what? I say that. Some of my favorite McFarlane figures, uh, also some of my favorite 
customs that people have sent me. Uh, my my buddy Rob sent, sent me these incredible repainted uh, Space Marines, 40K McFarlane Space Marines. That's a different thing entirely because they, 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 that scale works perfectly. And he did one in model behavior colors with uh, the, a, a dead shot head sculpt. Ah, oh, that was the bomb, man. Dude, Rob, thank you. Thank you again, man. That was like two years ago, but I freaking love those. Those are awesome. So it's, a, oh yeah, I'm not, not reading that one again. All right. You know what? In fact, guys, we're, we're approaching two hours. This is a, this is a long ass live stream. I tell you what, just cause I like, I like nice round numbers. I'll go up to two hours and then I gotta, I gotta start my day. John Travolta Punisher is so cool. He even killed his own family to start his Punisher arc. Uh, is that oh yeah John Travolta well John Travolta killed off his wife and his best friend didn't he because because again the Punisher kind of framed them to make him think that they were cheating on him it's it's oh it was a silly story didn't someone send you a McFarlane Swamp thing yes yeah again the 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 updates well it was a Swamp thing that was then customized into a man thing that was genius that, that, that's a great because also like you man thing should be big and hulking that worked that worked really well that was awesome i come in peace with dolph longram best punisher also dude I'm, I'm totally with that i'm totally with that thomas jane punisher interrogating a guy by poking poking him with a popsicle stick peak cinema yeah actually you know what i really liked that i thought that i thought that was kind of fun uh, cause like at first I thought, oh wait, that's not the Punisher. Why would he be showing mercy to this guy? But then of course I realized, oh no, he's doing that because he needs to keep him alive and healthy to be his man on the inside. So that's actually kind of fun. I thought that was a, that, but that was a cool quirky scene. Brett Moon channel member for 20 months, brother. Thank you so much, man. Dave, not going to lie. The new reveals are kind of weak. I do love the Spider-Man figs though, man. I'm, I'm. I'm with you to an extent, to be fair, because I was saying at the start of this live stream that I was a little bit over enthusiastic when I was doing the recap because I, I was so like excited just to, well, I was excited to see new figures because we're always excited to see new figures. We love seeing new reveals. We're simple cats. But also it was three o'clock in the morning and I was desperate to just get this video up, get it out there and then get to bed. <laughs> So I think I probably raced through a lot of stuff without like looking really closely. So that's why on this live stream, I've been eh, not retracting, but just honing my thoughts a little bit. Like Carnage, for example. I think Carnage looks great, but I didn't really sort of point out that like, really, he's just an extra, he, you're, you're, you're paying for a head and two hands because the body is identical to the, uh, uh, venom pool carnage so they really haven't changed anything besides the head and hands and on you know besides that there's really not much to get excited about but i do love the head and hands so <laughs> i i still do like it but it's not all it could have been i watched the movie drive over the weekend and i looked up on youtube afterwards now my feed is filled with brian gosling literally me edits <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched Strife, but I've heard that it's good. I like Ryan Gosling, so I might have to give that a try. Is it just me, or do I hate crowded stores like Ross and thrift stores make me, like, die in the inside? Impaled, honestly, it's not just you, man. The guy being interrogated with the popsicle stick later became a regular on the later seasons of House MD. I, I know the actor. Like, he's done a lot of stuff. He's good. He's really good. Okay, so shipping from Into the AM is a bit expensive to Australia. Oh, dude, Australia, that's... Fair enough. No, <laughs> if you considering that you're based over in Australia, uh, I, I I wouldn't ask you to do that. However, the fact you actually went and checked, thanks, man. That's really kind of you. So give me like next payday, and I'll get a shirt and the Rec Rat Cult <laughs> sacred drawing. Dude, God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> oh, you know what? Even if you don't, yes, yes, you're such a good brother. You're always here with the live streams. You're always chiming in. Maybe I'll do the artwork for you regardless because <laughs> I want to I want to give something back. All right, Dave, my buddy is messaging me to play some Rocket League with him. Enjoy the stream. Have a great day. DJ, get out of here. Go, go play some Rocket League. Kwame, good and bad reveals always depend on what people are collecting. A lot of different collectors with a lot of different tastes. Dude, that, that's so true. I mean, literally, we were just chatting earlier uh, about how excited someone was for 
the cell shaded comic book colored daredevil and i was like wow I, I didn't think anyone would be particularly psyched for that and then that's that's when i got to appreciate not everything's made for me i mean it should be and i i hate the fact that we live in a world where not everything is specifically designed to make me happy but here we are so no it's it's good to bear that in mind pretty sure there's a moment in the 90s comics where the punisher did that popsicle interrogation too i think i think there is i think it might it might have even been the garth ennis run it, it, it i'm not saying that for certain but i'm sure that when i saw that in the movie i was like i've seen this like i'm i'm sure it was taken from something I, i'm pretty certain that was the case and it it i feel like it might have been the garth ennis run but i couldn't say for certain uh, there were a lot of random things revealed, so a little for everyone. Definitely a, a sprinkling. Definitely a sprinkling for everyone. I sort of love super random waves because the experience of buying and opening the whole wave to get the random bath is super fun. That is something that I genuinely miss, is, is, is doing the wave unboxings. Those were always some of my favorite videos, and uh, that, like that, that that's something that I, I can't do over here so much because I can't get the waves like I used to. But yeah, I, I love doing that. Just the, the live stream wave unboxings, that was always a blast. Another movie I watched was Nobody, which is basically a family man, John Wick, but Saul Goodman. Dude, I love Nobody. I, I, I think that was great. That was a really, really fun film. I'd love to see a sequel. Because they, they set it up for a great sequel. I'd love to see that one day. Nah, I'm pumped for some of these newer figures. I'm buying some of them for sure. Dude, that's awesome, man. I mean, there, there's great stuff out there. How does everyone feel about this fantastic Rami Malek as comedian? Uh, uh, what are we talking about? Is that a thing? Uh, or is this just like a pitching? I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I never really thought I mean, Rami Malek's cool, but I wouldn't have chosen him as comedian he's a good actor though why the heck not tisk tisk everything should have dave's chef's kiss or it isn't <laughs> or it ain't or i ain't buying it son dude i agree if, if if it doesn't have a picture of me on the box going then really it's not worth your money i do hope we get an animated comedian soon though i feel we must do i feel like that's got to be on its way surely steve cox dude the gift that keeps on giving thank you so much man another Beautiful British five pans. For me, the Mafex Wolverine claws are too straight. The Brown and X Force have better claws to me, dude. That's again, that's interesting because I I haven't have ever had them in hand to compare. Picturing it in my mind's eye, as I'm inclined to do, I I do know what you mean. They they are very they are very straight. I, I do like a little bit more of of uh, of, of of a curl. Um, a, 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 an arc to them so I, I appreciate that i mean that's also another real big thing to bear in mind I, i've been wanting this wolverine for so long that there's a very real possibility that when i actually get him in hand after all this time i'd be like it's just an action figure isn't it <laughs> that's always the worst thing where you sort of build up wanting something so much and then you finally get it and it's like it's, it's okay i guess um you know what the worst example of that is the Revoltech Venom. One of these days, man. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do a review of that because that is literally the worst action figure I've ever bought for the price as well. Like, you know, if if it was five bucks, I'd be like, oh, that, that's all right. But um, for the price of a Revoltech figure, that that Venom is 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 the worst thing I've ever spent my money on. And so, sometimes I feel like, you know what, I don't deserve money because I I shouldn't have it because I, I spent it on on a Revoltech Venom, which is the worst action figure ever made. So um, yeah, <laughs> That's, so in, in uh, compared to that, the Mafex Wolverine would probably be all right. But yeah, dude, thank you again. One more little coin for Godzilla. Come on, little fella, how'd you come? It's getting a bit noisy. There he is. Um, num, 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 num. Thanks, brother. That's really kind of you. Again, dude, you've been really generous today. That that really means the world. Thank you. And retro carded comedian Doc Avenger. That's what we got to get our hands on. Because yeah, I don't want it to be a two pack. They could do a single release. That would be much more in line with what I'd be after. I'm still waiting on the perfect Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Ninety seven comes close but needed an angry expression. Plus, I'd like a blue that matches closer with Sykes. 
Yeah. One thing I, I'd kind of, I wonder how easy it would be. Hang on. Come on. Come on. I wonder how easy it would be to, you probably quite easy. Shall I actually say what I'm talking about? I, I, I would like to pop the shoulder pads off of this Wolverine and replace them with the metallic blue ones from the Apocalypse Wave Wolverine. Because that's that's what the Apocalypse Wave Wolverine has over this one. Is I, I much prefer the metallic blue. So if I could if I could replace these with the metallic blue ones, and then I have the unmasked head with the cowl from um, uh, the Bone Breaker Wave Wolverine, that for me, and then I've got some custom metal claws, that's the ultimate kitbash Wolverine right there because this this body's good uh, again it's still <laughs> if, it, if it had a torso swivel and a ball swivel waist it would be perfect but they still got the the old funky articulation which is a shame but yeah if, if i could if i could just just pop the shoulder pads off and replace them with the metallic ones then give them that raw head and the metal claws beautiful beautiful that's that's something i want to do when i finally consolidate my collection again i'll play around with that the only times an action figure has lived up to the level of hype for me is Sentinel Spider-Man, Mafex Hush Batman, and SH Figure Arts Carmen Rider. I'm trying to think what figures have like blown me away that I've been excited for. Uh, Mech Leonardo was one. Storm Collectibles Axel Stone was another. Uh, Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. There, there's a few. I mean, oh my goodness, like the Haslabs themselves, Galactus, the Sentinel. They they lived up to the hype. You know, those were amazing. Uh, yeah, Apocalypse Wave Wolverine still has the best blue, in my opinion. His yellow is just too orange. Interesting, yeah. But the the blue, they they nailed it. Dave needs a shirt of him saying, I'm not buying this. And on the back, there's a picture of him holding said figure. <laughs> that would be accurate. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was agreeing there. I'm probably in the minority, but I'd much rather get a classic robes chameleon over an animated one. Flamingo, dude, if you're in the minority, then I'm in the minority with you. That's what I would love to see. I I want to see smoking jacket chameleon. Yeah, I I, I want to see hanging out with Craven with his cravat and that that first appearance style retro chameleon. I'd love to see that. That would be great. My only issue with the Mafex Tiger Stripe Wolverine are the blue stripes and the claws looking dopey. I like the claws. I like the ridiculously long over the top claws for me. That's fine. That's great. But yeah, the, the blue stripes, that is going to be a bit irritating. 7.01 p.m. I got to call it. See you, gang. Dave, <laughs> see you later, Matt, with two Ts. Always a pleasure, brother. I'd love to get a classic smoking jacket chameleon, but I feel like it's going to be a long time. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I can't imagine getting him anytime soon because I, I think if we are going to get a chameleon, it will be the animated purple jumpsuit chameleon, which then, of course, will push back any other chameleons that we might get. What's the number one kit bash you can't wait to do when you get back to the rest of your collection? Oh, dude, honestly, uh, <laughs> nothing springs to mind, actually. Besides just doing that little Wolverine thing there, I, I don't know what else I would I would want to do. I Occasionally, I'll get kit bash ideas, and then I'll forget what it was that I thought of, and then it'll pop back into my head. So right now, there's nothing that springs to mind, but we'll get there. I would love to get that Wolf Spain in her X4 suit. That was a great comic run. Dude, I, I think that the fact that you know we finally got Wolf Spain, like that's that's great. That that's really, really cool. But I, I think that it's it's gonna be a while before you know we get like any other versions or permutations, or maybe it might happen soon. They 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 love to surprise us, they always keep us guessing. That's for darn sure. I believe the strange tales will be carded, so no bath, but it would be cool to get a living tribunal or eternity as deluxes along with the wave. Dude, yeah, I forgot that there's the whole Strange Tales wave that's apparently going to be coming out at some point. That's something that, again, was was rumored and teased. So, yeah, I, I don't know if, you know, what kind of form they're going to take, what they're going to look like. But I tell you what, for certain, that's something I'm going to be really interested to see because that's very outside the box for Marvel Legends. Mafex Tiger Stripe Wolverine uh, for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. Okay, I'm... Um, I'm gonna have to check check that out. I wouldn't get it from Big Bad Toy Store because um, they they will hopefully just be on retail shelves here. So fingers crossed, I can find one in the wild. 
And we're so close to completing the major 90s X teams, although the X Force looks don't match fully. Yeah, it's always a bit of a shame when the aesthetics aren't quite right. Uh, it's the same with the new Warriors. Like, we're, we're kind of, you know, almost fully completed the new Warriors, but the actual eras of the costumes don't really match. And that's kind of a shame. Dave, have you seen the new Modo King model kit for Miles? It looks almost identical to the Mafex, but with more accessories at a cheaper price. Uh, yes, uh, I've, those are the unpainted images. We don't have any painted images yet, do we? Uh, or, or, or does it come unpainted? If it comes unpainted, then it's that's not for me. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they're doing good stuff. I really want to see more of their superior Spider-Man. Uh, you can customize Timber from G.I. Joe Classified's line and paint him brown and have Wolf Spain in full wolf form. That's a fun idea. Strange Tales Fin Fang Foom has lab confirmed. <laughs> you know what? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. That that might be the Haslab for this year. You never know. Did they ever announce a classic blade with maroon jacket and glasses? Not yet. Not yet, Clockwork Orgy. May maybe one day. Maybe one day, but. Not this time. Uh, it will come painted, but the picks so far are unpainted prototypes. Okay, if it comes painted, fantastic. I don't need the miles, but when that superior Spider-Man comes out, I, I, I that'll be an instant, instant purchase. Uh, <laughs> good looking out. I was it was sold out, and I was bummed out. Snagged it up real quick. Oh, okay. This is this is um the Wolverine on Big Bad Toy Store, dude. I'm glad you managed to get your hands on it. Right. We have hit the two hour mark. Oh my goodness. It's time to wrap this puppy up and take her on home. So gang, I'm going to, I'm going to do five more minutes. Just like, like any good pro wrestling match that goes to the time limit, I'm demanding five more minutes. So just if anyone has anything they want to like say questions to ask point, points and thoughts to get off your chest. Now's your, now's the time. In the words of um, Oren Ishii from Kill Bill, now's the effing time. Yeah, I don't even know what the next HasLab would be. Seems like they already covered all their bases with Sentinel, Galactus, and Giant Man. Dude, Onslaught. Give, give me an Onslaught HasLab. I, I would be giddy with that. I would be absolutely giddy if we got an, an, an Onslaught Builder thing, uh, an Onslaught HasLab. I don't know if we would do. I don't know if Onslaught would be a big enough or popular enough character, but oh my goodness. I would I would absolutely love to see it. And also, Mr. Ozone, we've had a few people suggest that. We had a few people rumbling saying another Sentinel. Because you know, the 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 Sentinel has lab is is beautiful. It's amazing. It's awesome. But it's 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 a very sort of specific kind of modern take on the classic Sentinel. So they could always just do a just a a, a redesigned. OG type Sentinel. And I think people would pop for that because I, I think they, they've kind of made it very clear that the whole point of the HasLab is this is your one chance. This is your one chance to get it. So they're not going to re-release the old Sentinel. That's never going to happen. But they could do a new one that's in the old retro sort of style. That might be really popular. I just got an email saying I passed a work interview after panicking and being anxious. So good day all round and the stream helped Dave. Fuzzy, that's awesome, man. Good on you. I'm really pleased to hear that. Also, completely forgot about Wasp. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Wasp, too. We don't know how she'll be released. Maybe one of the rumored Avengers waves. They're doing a Secret Wars wave. So I'd also uh, so I'd, I'd also love a Secret Wars Wasp. Yeah, I, th that retro Wasp, like, she looks really fun. It's a cool character design. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to get that because the, the super retro aesthetic wouldn't really go with the rest of my Avengers display. Uh, I think my more sort of 90s style animated, sorry, not animated, but my more 90s style Wasp, that she kind of fits better, I think. And, and, and pff, wow, sorry, I'm just garbling my words now. You can tell we've been going for over two hours. So my, 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 my jaw starts to get tired. An animated series Sentinel might sell like hotcakes. I think it would. I, I think it probably would. And I could imagine that Hasbro could probably reuse a lot of the technical engineering from the original Sentinel and then just change the aesthetics, maybe put some ratchets in the knees, and then they'd be good to go. You know, a weird character we could get in Marvel Legends? Impossible Man. Honestly, I'm surprised that we haven't had Impossible Man already because he is kind of a cult classic. 
Fin Fang Foom would be great, but I'm definitely curious what they will do. Yeah, the thing with Fin Fang Foom is, I mean, that would be a pass from me. Uh, and again, that's just me talking about what I want, which I, again, as we've covered earlier in this live stream, I don't always get things tailored just to me, which is shocking and terrible, but it is what it is. But yeah, I, I wouldn't really be interested in a Fin Fang Foom. Impossible Man was my intro to Fantastic Four with old VHS tape, so I'd love an Impossible Man. I'm sure one day we'll see that. There was an Impossible Man figure as an accessory with the 2006 Fantastic Four Classics Johnny Storm. I thought we had seen it somewhere before. I think I'm going to buy a lotto ticket every week in hopes I will win so I can buy all the Marvel Legends I can. Dude, that's why people deserve money, because they're going to spend it on good stuff like action figures. Can we get a HasLab animated Tri Spider Slayer? There you go. Because I'm a 90s Spider fan, I would totally go for that. Because also, I would love to have a big character to base my Spider Man display around. Uh, but certainly, I, I don't think that would necessarily appeal to other collectors. I don't know. It's it, it's a tough call. I would love it, but I, it might be a bit too niche. Uh, what have we got? Nelson. Been following your channel for over a year and I've enjoyed enjoyed your reviews and news updates. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. I'm looking forward to a possible MCU Deadpool 3 Wolvie Hugh Jackman, the legend. Dude, I'm sure we're going to see that. We must do. I mean, you know, it, it's all under the Disney umbrella now. So a, a, a Hugh Jackman, yellow costume Wolverine, that, that is a license to print money. I mean, even I would be tempted to buy that. And I don't buy anything MCU, but Hugh Jackman and the classic duds, yeah, I, I think I would I would go for that. The X-Men Danger Room makes sense for a HasLab. Well, dude, now you're open, opening up a whole different kettle of chips. You're opening up some kettle chips because we're talking about dioramas for a HasLab now. And that's something that I would love to see. I, I would, yeah, absolutely. Give, give me a, a Danger Room I'm not so sure about. Um, I mean, you could, could do. But I, for me, I'd, I'd love a street scene. But then again, we... We're getting a street scene from Ramen Toys. And honestly, that has me so pumped and so hyped up that I, I, I'm not really too worried about, you know, trying to get Hasbro or, you know, to do a new one or NECA to, to do a, a follow up to their street scene. Because looking at the specs of the, of the Ramen Toys sewer and street diorama and seeing what they did with the uh, Ramen Racer, I'm like, okay, pfft. You want you want me over? What, what whatever you're gonna do, just knock yourselves out. Do it, do it, and go for it because it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, when they release Deadpool, he comes with the avocado face. You know what? We haven't had that, have we? We we haven't had an unmasked MCU Deadpool. Would that mean they'd have to pay Ryan Reynolds for the likeness? Because to be fair, I mean, would they? Because he's he's under so much makeup, it doesn't really. You could probably get away with, with not doing that, but I don't know. I don't know. It's it, it's hard to say. Regardless, it would be kind of fun to see a Avocado uh, De Deadpool in Marvel Legends form. So, yeah, time will tell on that one. Uh, yeah, uh, T Silver Team, yeah, Atlas is my number one. Ah, Atlas. Again, we were talking about completing teams and, uh, yeah, the, the Thunderbolt side of things. I'd, I'd love a big Atlas figure. But then again... If, <laughs> if they did an Atlas figure, I would then have to go back and repurchase the Thunderbolts figures that I sold because I gave up trying to complete the team. That's the frustration there. It feels like like a, an Atlas figure is one that could have come out five years ago. And like Atlas doesn't have to be Haslab size. He doesn't have to be giant. He he could actually he can actually just be on a normal size body. I mean, yes, Atlas can grow to giant sizes. But also, he can just walk around like a normal human. And I appreciate that, you know, investing all that money in a big Atlas figure, it's probably not enough people that would really want it. I mean, I'm one of them, but still. Uh, so, yeah, they just need to do a normal Atlas. Just put him on a, a large body. That would be fine. I think modern Marvel contracts have lightness rights as part of the initial contract negotiations. That would make a lot of sense, certainly. Dave, to uh, to go with an X-Men 97 collection, would you grab the cable today that was announced or would you wait for a cable that appeared in the animated series with the ungodly amount of pouches? Dude, I, I would go for the modern one. I'd go for this one. Because sometimes, sometimes a cable in the hand is worth two in the pouch. 
And th this one, yeah, okay, it's not the animated design, but for me, it's actually my favorite cable design. But again, that's because I'm a child of the 90s. So, of course, I, I, I love this look. And genuinely, I just think they've done a great job with it. I think the face sculpt is really, really good. The colors pop. The, the details on the mechanical arm look terrific. I'm, I'm totally down for that. My main hope for them is to do Exodus from the Exodus. Uh, well, Ex Exodus, uh, it, that's the 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 pink uh, the pink dude, isn't it? Uh, Magneto's, I was going to say Horseman, Acolyte. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, I, I was going to ask if that was, uh, you know, if that was a typo. Yeah, Exodus from the Exodus. I was like, that's a strange thing. <laughs> I have the first Marvel Legends cable, and honestly, it's a pretty stiff figure and kind of fiddly. I'd say get the new one. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, which Marvel Legends cable are you talking about? Because uh, like the, the the Marvel Legends, like the, the modern Marvel Legends Rob Liefeld cable is beautiful. Like that, that's amazing. But the one that came out from Toy Biz before that, I mean, that definitely shows its age now. Uh, you can never have too many cables and still you start tripping over them. Ayo! Okay, we got to wrap this up now. Why buy the new cable when you can just get baby cable with the Goblin Queen? <laughs> there you go. It's Cable still represented on the shelf. You, you can't say fairer than that. You know what? I I will I will take this live stream to the end of the video that we're watching because like by, by, there you go. By by the time this video finishes in about ten minutes, that that'll be a perfect way of wrapping up the live stream because I I just like things to be neat, you know. And we get to look at the rest of the wave again. And the more I look at this feral, the more I'm like, ah, you know what I. I, I, I guess I, I could go back and repurchase the old X Factor figures. And I'm like, no, no, Dave, be strong. You don't need X Factor. The one I'm thinking of is the Hasbro Apocalypse Wave One with the eyepiece inside. It's not that great, to be honest. Fuzzy Barbarian, you know, man, I love you. And I respectfully disagree. I think that figure is the absolute bomb. That is, that is some peak peak Marvel Legends right there. But you know what? We're all allowed different opinions. If you, your opinion doesn't match with mine, that's absolutely fine. You know what? I still respect it because you ain't hurting nobody. And it's okay to be wrong. You know, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> but no, that, that, that's fine. I appreciate different aesthetics. To, to me, I think that cable's perfect. I, I think he slaps. Michael, let's go for 10 more hours. Oh, dude, I don't think I have the strength. And the, the people who do marathon live streams, I don't know how you manage it. To be honest, though, to, to be fair, to be fair to Flair, I think I probably do more words per minute in my live streams than anyone else. Genuinely, you, I, I'll take the Pepsi challenge on that one. If you just if you're just talking content, if you're just talking actual vocabulary, <laughs> I think I probably put in more verbal work than anyone else doing live streams. That being said, though, it might not be as good. <laughs> I'm not saying that more content is better. I'm just saying that the volume of it is there. So maybe it's it's like, you know, Cogino's Pizza and Pizza from Cogino's. It's like, well, well, one of them is, is more, but the other one's better. I'm not saying I'm better, but I'm definitely more. Simbi, Strong Guy is honestly the one figure preventing me from selling X Factor. All of those other characters can use an update. The only thing I don't like about that Strong Guy is uh, the gaps in his shoulder joints. Besides that, he's he is a very fun figure. Dave ending this live stream is like a high school couple breaking up. Like, say they will. They definitely say they will. Dude, it, well, it's your fault. I'm, I'm enjoying live streaming too much. If, if, if you if, if you guys weren't bringing the fun, you weren't bringing the comments, and you weren't bringing the chuckles, you know what? I wouldn't be here because it would be very difficult for me to talk for two hours with just myself. But, you know, this is a group a group collaborative effort. And dang it, you, you guys just keep on collaborating with me. So really, this one's on you. And then, of course, we got the Hasbro guys here as well who are also kind of bringing the stuff for me to talk about because this wave I could wax lyrical on for a while. And especially the fact that they're just getting to the end of this now and showing off Kazar again. And it, it makes me think we're definitely, definitely going to get Ashana. But I think, I can't remember who it was. I think a couple of people said that we'll probably get Shana in a three-pack with Cable, Cable, Kazar and Zabu as well. And it's like, hey, do you want Shana? Did you buy those two? Well, you're going to have to buy them again now. <laughs> You get to buy them again because now you, you, we're, we're giving you Shana. Hopefully they don't, but it would certainly fit their typical kind of MO for, you know, kind of nickel and dime in you sometimes.
Also, Dave, I do respect your opinion, but you are wrong about cable and you smell. Well, that's getting personal, but to be fair, you might not be wrong. I think the Liefeld cable pairs up great with Strife, but the new cable pairs up great with Nate Gray. Dude, you know we got a new Nate Gray coming from Mafex in about a year's time. I'm I'm so excited for that. All the Mafex Age of Apocalypse figures, they're going to be a blast. F. Mary Kill, your current X-Men, the current X-Men Krakoa era, McFarlane DC figures, and Diet Coke. Okay, well, I, you know what? What the heck? Let's do this. Uh, I would marry Diet Coke because actually I, I really like Diet Coke. And especially in the summertime here, when you to, to, if, if you finish work around about midday, you just go to one of the vending machines, pop out an ice cold Diet Coke in the heat of the Japanese summertime. <sighs> Dude, that's some good living right there. And then current X-Men Krakoa era and McFarlane figures. Oh, okay. I would... Okay, I I, I would... Oof. God, that, that that's tough. Can I not kill both of them? I I, I really, I really don't, don't want to kiss either one of them. There's, I'd probably kiss McFarlane, actually, because occasionally... Occasionally, McFarlane do do some good stuff. Like, they're, they're monsters and robots and spawn things. They're kind of fun. So yeah, I would I, I would kiss McFarlane and Krakoa X Men. I would get in the bin and then set the bin on fire and then bury it in concrete and dump it in the North Sea. That that's my feelings there. Having said that, I have just read. Um, is it is it Dark X Men the the X Men team that's led by Madeline Pryor? Because surprise surprise. It's got Ben Riley on the team, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to read this now, and honestly. That might have my attention. It's brutal. Like, they don't hold back. That, that, that book is dark and nasty, but I kind of like it. Do you think the re-release Deadpool will get a standard release? Mm, what do you mean? The re-release Deadpool will get a Do you think that that is the standard release? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wu-Tang. I'm not, I'm not too sure what you're asking there, but I'll, I'll answer if I can figure it out. With the tease of more Savage Land figures, I can only assume we'll get a re-release of Sauron uh, that teased Retro Professor X in the jumpsuit and fingers crossed Savage Land Rogue. Dude, it wouldn't surprise me to see Sauron re-released because that that was one of the best builder figures they ever made, I think. That's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning figure. So if they if they did re-release that, then oh, oh my goodness. That would be great. I think that would make a lot of people really happy, especially if they actually reworked it a little bit so that you could articulate the tail if they put a bendy wire in the tail, that would be amazing. But yeah, that, that would be kind of fun. That Nightfall Batman is fantastic. The only McFarlane DC figure I own. Dude, I just saw that they've done the uh, the the Nightfall Azrael Az Batman in his like, uh, you know, burgundy and yellow color scheme. That actually looks kind of fun. Hellions is also a good uh, Krakoan era X book that has the right level of dark. Highly recommended Dave. Dave Zeb Wells can be good. I promise. Oof, dude, is that Zeb Wells? I don't know, man. <laughs> that's a that's a tough sell. That's a real tough sell. Oh, Wu Tang Batman saying it's a US store exclusive. I got gotcha. you. I'm sorry. I didn't understand. I didn't understand what you meant by that. Uh, hey, you know what? I don't know. That that's that's tough. Because he, even though I'm I'm a loud mouth on the internet, I know nothing more than anyone else. I wish I did about anything. To be honest, not just figures. I wish I, I wish I knew more about anything <laughs> but no I, I i couldn't tell you i couldn't tell you uh, that's that's a bit of a bit of a mystery kokoa era should have ended when jonathan hickman left it, it seems like they are at least wrapping it up they're finally wrapping up the kokoa era but man they're taking their time doing it, it it's taking longer to end the kokoa era than it is for me to finish this live stream and that's a long time okay but you know what guys we are going to end the live stream now. I <laughs> two and a half hours. I think I think we've adequately covered the Marvel Legends for today. So, dude, dude, the singular dude watching, dudes. That sounds weird, folks. Thank you very much for watching. The state of my live streaming skills. Thank you for watching. I'm I'm going to get back to work on more videos, more good times. You know, we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out here. And again, I stand by what I said. If anyone, if anyone makes an order with Into the AM, send me a little proof of purchase and I'll draw a picture for you and I'll post it off to you wherever you are in the world. You can put it up on the fridge. I know that. Boom. Dave appreciates you helping out the channel. But speaking of which, all the folks who have commented today, uh, Super Chats, thank you so much. This is, 
this this is what this is what happens when I when I get on a roll. My face starts aching from smiling, and we go for two and a half hours. Gotta love it, gang. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep displaying model behavior. <laughs>